Wait, there's a place called Bath, UK? That's real? That's a real location? And it's 94% humidity? Yeah, that that's name checks out. The name checks out. You go to Bath, UK, you don't even need a shower. You're already damp. Goddamn. Hawaii's a little bit too much on the humid side for me. And I hate all the mosquitoes that are in there. So I would never want to go to Hawaii. I'm not going to lie. Another thing is that I don't eat seafood and it's landlocked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? I don't eat seafood and I'm living on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And yeah, it's a bad time. That would be a horrible time for me. Kazuka, is that Southlink? Timo, let me help you out, man. Oh, I, I put exclamation point Timo. Oh, wait. That doesn't work. I spelled Timo, not the location. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm, dude, you guys do that sometimes? You guys are typing something, but you guys are reading something at the same time, and then you type what you read? God damn it, dude. I just baited myself. I'm in, though. I'm in. Guys, it's gonna be time for some Timberborn. I don't know why every time when I click off the game... Run in background. That's not on. Um... Uh, nice. Nice. That means when I click out, you guys still hear the music. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Dude, that's warm, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's warm and humid. That does not sound like a good time. That sounds like there's going to be a lot of mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. They feed fish, and I don't like fish either, so it's like if the mosquitoes die, I'm cool with it. We lose a lot of fish, but that's cool too. Can we lower the music volume? Yeah, sure. But we're at 69%. That's so nice. Alright, we'll go down to 50. Feels bad. Sometimes I go to the kitchen to get something to drink while I'm on my way. And sometimes I think about stuff like the game I'm playing. And when I reach the kitchen, I forgot what I wanted there. Dude, classic. One time... I went to the kitchen, I opened the fridge, and I didn't like what was inside, so I went back to my room. Ten minutes later, I was like, maybe there's something different. I go back to the fridge, check it again, nothing changed. And I was sad, I don't know for why, but um, I just went back to my room again. <laughs> it happens, man. They're like, oh man, go to the fridge and see what's there. Aw oh, shit, there's nothing there. Maybe it's gonna change in like ten minutes. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. So guys, let's get it started with some Iron Teeth gameplay. These guys are going to be the unlocked second class from the Folk Tales. The Folk Tales was a nice time. We did fail our first run with this because we had to get our bearings actually recalibrated. But of course, we got that done and we were able to thrive. Next, we got to do the Iron Teeth. We already failed and we were playing on the Mountain Range. However, we learned from our mistakes, and we're going to be able to do it better. I say that. I don't actually know that. But, uh, hey. This is uh, going to be a uh, first try, right, guys? I'm just kidding. This is going to be take number two. We're going to be playing on normal mode. Nothing's going to be changed. And let's get it in. As long as there's uh, no proof that it can't happen, then there's a chance that it can't happen. Yo, kill Renee. If a tree falls in a forest and there's no beavers around to hear it, does it make a sound? And you know what the answer to that is? The answer is yes. And you know why? Because a human was there and he heard it. And that human was me, baby. Mamba got scared. He ran up the tree. I had to go save him. But then we got the babies back and then he's never left my side. And that is the origin story of how I saved Mamba that climbed up the tree. Now, of course, that was a fake story, guys. We we're going to be loading in. You guys know how sometimes on the loading screen they give you a fake story for you to read. That's basically what just happened. So we're in, and we're going to be starting the... I don't want to call this the Mamba 2 Electric Boogaloo again, just because we already did that. So 
man. Guys, can we get some uh, names in chat? We need a name or establishment. Our first name was Iron Mamba, and we failed. Mamba Forced. Ooh, Forced Mamba. Like Forced Gump. Hey, you guys, you guys, you guys run? Any runners in chat? Anyone know about Forced, the legend? What was the girl's name? Was it Jessica? Or was it Molly, his girlfriend? I forget his name, man. All right, so we got the Iron Teeth. We got our first set of trees. What happened to the last colony? Uh, they had something called a bad water season. And I was not familiar with the cycle. So when the bad water season started, all my crops died because bad water immediately kills the plants. So I had plants growing and then the plants died immediately because the bad water flew down and wiped out all my food. When that happened, we immediately uh, lost all the food. And when the food got lost, uh, we also lost the water because it's bad water, right? So we don't get as much water. When the both the water and the food went to zero, there is a modifier because you're not providing basic needs and your well-being is negative. The problem with that is, is that it's a unclimbable hole that you dig for yourself because the modifier has a work speed modifier and that work speed modifier was minus 70%. Effectively, I would need to double my production everywhere water pumping, uh, harvesters, and all that in order for me to keep up with the demand of everyone in the colony. So what happened was, was that the modifier bopped my people getting water and food. As a result, they couldn't get water or food in time, and then people started dying off. So yeah, it was a chain reaction of the worst proportions. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. And you really do hate to see that kind of thing happen man it was a bad time but yeah so it was a, it was a spiral chain reaction no food and no water means they can't get food or water and then we just had to lose our population went from i think 60 down to single digits and then we just uh you know pulled the pug and they don't think it be like it is but it do we're gonna do better this time though we will uh, all right, we're going to do that, direct access, and then we're going to want to use these trees to be cut first, because we know we're going to be farming right here. We're going to cut these trees secondary so that we have trees here growing, because we're going to be cutting most of the trees here. We're going to want a path. Uh, there were some problems previously with some of the pathing, so I think for the sake of this, we're just going to put a four-way cross here. And then we're just going to have this go across. Or we do that. Uh, this is not bad. We still have water right here. And we could use all this for water, I guess. All right. So that's going to be going up to here. That way we have trees to cut. We're going to have our housing up here. And then we're going to do our first tree cutting on this side. So I remember we had a lot of failures here, but we're going to be able to do better. We want the lumberjack flag, and then we're going to start our tree cutting patterns. So, of course, this is the most important part of the beginning of the game. You want to cut the trees, except for some of the adults. So, very sparingly, the rule is going to be have space around the tree open. This is probably fine. And the reason why you do this is because the trees do not actually grow indefinitely until you have a forester, because that way you can plant trees. In this game, the trees, after you cut it down, have to regrow, and they only regrow if there is an adult tree at 100% nearby. So because of that, we're trying to make sure we don't cut some of the trees so that we have trees growing still. It's going to be important for us to actually survive because they don't give you enough wood to process everything. Once we chop all these trees, we're going to work into this one afterwards. Um, there's a good chance we're going to want a second lumber farm here. Just to have this done faster and get everything started. 
and we're gonna need housing so that's gonna be here uh i kind of like this path at the same time we could do this path it doesn't really matter which path we use oh we don't have science we're gonna need to do that huh okay so we're not gonna really think about that yeah we're gonna need barracks uh i probably need to start here unfortunately and the reasoning why is because of the tree right here right i don't want to lose that this is going to be 12 people so we need two housing oh i did this for <laughs> i did this design already there's a one space gap here we ended up not using that for anything all right so we have that and then we are likely going to take this path it's arbitrary there's no real reason why i chose that and then we're going to put some science there. We're going to want at least two inventors. We're going to want this priority, this priority. And then we're going to want these two to be priority. Um, I guess we could put one of these on second. So we make a house, we get the wood, and then we do the inventors and everything afterwards. We'll put another lumberjack here because we need to chop these eventually. Uh, we'll do two... And then we'll pause both. Alright, let them rock. Uh, let's get the wood. Oops, right here. And then all we're going to get started with... That... Oh, we need water. That's always important, actually. Water was mad important last time. Alright, so I'm going to put that on this side. Why does the entrance and the pump location have to be opposite? That's a little unfortunate. I could probably do this then. Ooh, that works. I kind of like that. All right, we want this. And then we're going to get the first breeding pot in. Uh, we need to get one breeding pot because population was really important in the beginning. All right, so we have no wood. I guess we could build both of these. Because we have idle people right now. Let's add two people to the builder side so that everyone can start building. And then they're going to be chopping trees right now. Two people idle. Uh, are people working here? They are. Okay, yeah. So we need the wood. So I guess we'll have both of them running. This is important. And then we're going to need water storage. Uh, the inventors are whatever. Having one is nice. All right. The water storage will get here because this is the one tile thin. This will be like that for water. Oh, and I guess I need the gathering camp for the berries. It's good to have people able to gather. Uh, we lack workers. Let's pop one builder then. Gotta get some food started. Now, the thing is, is that the berries is... No nutrition. It's kind of bad. The circle around settlement center doesn't work. The circle around the settlement center doesn't work. Ooh, Timo, what do you mean by that? I'm not sure what you mean. The circle around the settlement center? Not sure I'm following with that. We have no housing right now. It's only the first day. We have no shelter. They almost got it, though. Oh, her name was Jenny. Oh, my bad. Oh, we got a house. Nice. Now we need water. Can we get this? Nice, we got it. All right. We need one less woodcutter. We're going to pause one. And then you're going you're gonna to do this. Uh, this is kind of important. Nice, we got the breeder. We're going to prioritize hauling. Uh, how come I don't have the prioritize this building button? Hmm. Didn't you make the path go around the center since time? How did that fail? It did it. It's just that the more pathing you have, the more... Or the, the fewer tiles you actually have to be able to farm. <laughs> So you can already see kind of how that hurts me, having uh, the pathing around this. I like having pathing around the main building. 
it's not actually necessary. <laughs> so this is a lot of this is fertile ground, and we want to make sure that we have as much as we can. That's the reasoning why I'm doing it this time. Do you mean the prioritized by haulers? Yeah, yeah, there's a prioritized by haulers building. Oh, does that require the hauling post? These trees go so fast. Yeah, man. The trees don't last, man, at all. Oh, so I do need a hauler stop for that. Okay. All right, we have water here, man. Get your water. Get your water, man. We're probably going to want a second one, huh? All right, so we need a little bit more housing. This is okay. This is almost done, and then we're gonna get the second. We're gonna get the water storage, which is gonna be very important. Is the is the mistake on the tile on purpose? Is the mistake on the tile on purpose right here? Uh, basically, it's the idea that this is usable space. Because if I were to have the house touching right here, you know, the Twitch tile. It says not hour. Oh. Ha. Title. I thought that said tile. My bad. My bad. Hey, man. Thank you. <laughs> that was a typo. Hundred percent. That was a typo. My bad. My bad. Hey man, I I uh, messed up. The joke was the typo. You got it, man. You got it. Hey Excalibur, coming in with the prime after telling us a joke. I see you over there. Thanks so much for using your prime and using it on me. Enjoy the email D twenty nine and free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I see you over there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, we have a free guy. We're going to make him work. Can we get water storage? <gasps> yes, we got well-being. We is we is beavers with water now. Least I could do after all the Oni videos I've learned from. Hey, shout out to Excalibur. Using your Prime and using it on me. Guys, if you guys have Amazon Prime, Amazon Gaming. Prime Gaming, y'all know what it is. Use your free subscription on Twitch. Just because you guys have that Prime Gaming, right? It's going to be there every month. And if you guys don't use it on me, it's cool. Just make sure you use it on somebody. Because believe it or not, it does not auto-renew. Which means, if you don't use it every month, Jeff Bezos wipes his ass with another $5 bill. So, we gotta stop that, man. We gotta, you know, power the people. So, guys, please use your primes. If not me, use it on someone else. Every month, please. Support the streamers and content creators out there. Cyberdyne, welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. All right, we got two housing now, so the housing's okay. We're going to be breeding one guy. I am going to need two more, most, uh, most likely, but I don't think we're going to be able to sustain that yet. Uh, I believe we had to use the water wheel, right? I remember from last time. So how would this work? So the big thing was I needed to use the water wheel. Now the problem was is that I don't have means of getting anything here. Alright, I heard I heard there's a meme strat I could do. That, oh, it's too large. Oh, this is the meme strat. I guess this could, mm. this technically doesn't work. Three and four. So we could do that. What's small, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I heard that if you can't afford because of science tech, and you can't build a platform or even a levy, 
the smart thing to do instead of building a dam, because uh, yeah, I mean you could always build a dam, uh, is to use housing. Now the housing for these beavers is expensive, right? So I'm thinking we're going to be using storage box. So I want a two by two, so that we could do a lumber mill. Look at battery smooth. So excited for the exploits. <laughs> It makes me feel like I'm doing something right, hopefully. Alright, I think we're going to need that. I'm going to bop this. They really up the difficulty of this game while well, the update DLCs. The difficulty is... I don't think it's hard. It's more so knowledge-driven. I don't know if that makes sense. Because the thing with the game is that while it's cool the problem with it is fundamentally just i think i do have to do it like this the problem with it is that uh once you figure it out it's it's very easy to kind of just coast along i think we're gonna have to use the large warehouse because this is only 12 and i think this fits a lot better all right y'all could reach that right and then I want to do wood processing on top. Oh, that means my pathing is fine. Yeah, we're going to do it like that. Alright, so we're going to do that. We don't have enough wood yet, though. So we know we need to get the Forester. Uh, let me pause this guy. We're getting water. We still need to build this, but we could chill out on that. Oh, nice. There is missing a guy here. We'll pause this. We don't need the second science yet. Other warehouse piles also acceptable. This is cheap, man. It's only 12. We just have to make sure no one does anything on that one. <laughs> Alright, so we have two housing. We have a breeding pod. We know we're going to need more. Uh, I am going to use this space. So we could maximize. And I know I want more breeding pots. And then I also know I want farming. Alright, this is only 20 wood. Uh, so we're likely going to be farming... I think right here. We could also farm right here. But I know because of how pathing works, it's better if I have it here. Yeah. Because we're going to have to use partially of this area for trees. So we'll do it like this. Alright, so everyone has enough water. Uh, and then we're going to do this. Alright, we're at four. Nice. We have one beaver not working. All right, you could chop wood then. That's something we desperately need right now. They go through all the wood so fast. All right, we have a guy here. We're gonna bop one builder because we don't have enough wood anyways. All right, we're gonna get water. Good stuff, good stuff. We're at four well-being, boys. We're getting there. No goods selected, nice. All right, so now we need to do water wheel strat. We're gonna run this just like that. This is going to be a paused building. Oh, you can't pause this. You can't pause the building. That sucks. That's fine. Am I subbed anymore? I got a claim or something on screen. I recently got unsubscribed from another channel. Is something up with Twitch recently? Oh. Uh, Cyberdyne, you are subbed. Indeed. You are subbed. I see the sub badge. 25 months. Two year badge on you right now. I know that Twitch is making updates to their uh, Twitch app, if you're on the Twitch app. And a lot of times, historically, every time they've updated a Twitch app, it has had a lot of problems. <laughs> I don't know if you're running into those specific problems, but it might be. But yeah, there is that thing that exists where it potentially might be a problem. So it's a lot of times, I think it's just a visual bug. 
from what I could tell right now, you are still sub, so you're good. 51 water. 15. Alright, so this guy's pause. We don't need him there anymore. Alright, he's going to be a worker then in the building category. Imagine having a software release that went to plan. That's tough, man. I hear that it never goes to plan. That's what I actually hear. I don't actually know. I just hear that that's the case. Alright, boys. We're going to be able to power this. Get it started. And then we need to stack up the science so we get a forester. That's 60 science. Alright, so the wood is good. I have enough for this. We have enough for the other pods as well. Alright, so we are going to pause one of these guys. And he's going to work elsewhere. Always back at production. Yep. Apparently I'm still sub, but it seems like they canceled the recurring part of it. Might be EU thing, I don't know. Oh, are you on Prime, Cyberdyne? Or are you on a regular Tier 1? For the most part, Prime doesn't renew. But if the Tier 1 has stopped as well, yeah, I'm not, I haven't heard anything about that. That'd be weird. But they canceled the recurring part. Maybe oh, something like that happened to me the other day. Uh, my credit card expired. So my... Uh, uh, what do you call that? The phone company cut off my phone number. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what the fuck? And then he's like... Yeah, man. Your credit card don't work. I was like, why? Oh, I just got a new card. It just expired. Oh, yeah, my bad. Entered the new digits. And, you know, the phone was good again. I'm on, I have Prime, but I'm on reoccurring on your channel. Huh, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to help you then, Cyberdyne. But yeah, if I, if I find anything out about that, I'll let you know. So you're subbed with Prime? Maybe they changed it into the EU side. Maybe, yeah. I have had a few of these 10 plus years ago. But a uh, few and fewer companies plan realistically nowadays. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, though. I feel like the biggest day now with things... Or the biggest day now with things. What am I saying? The biggest thing nowadays... Man, I'm, like, dyslexic today. Um, is... Dude, you know what the people do? It feels like... Man, it feels like when you get your attention, right, is luck-based. Like, sometimes you get all the news following you and you're, like, talk of the town. And the problem ends up being... Now, we're going to pause these two for now. That the problem ends up being um, you guys were not prepared for it, right? And, you know, a lot of times it's like that. It's just that when you are prepared for it, the news isn't there anymore. The media isn't following you around. You guys are no longer the talk of the town. Sometimes it's just bad luck with how things line up. I've seen that happen before. Oh, you guys are idle. Okay, we're gonna have to cancel you guys then. Yeah, that means we're low on wood. Oh, snap. Alright, so we do need wood right now. Okay, okay. So water is fine. We need wood. We're trying to chop this. No goods in stock. I guess we could turn this one on since the other ones are going to be off. And then we'll get the wood from here. The berries are okay. We need more food, though, so we really desperately need this done. We're also making planks, which is not a bad thing. Water is fine. Alright, we'll turn on one of these guys, because we need the science. Alright, the builders are waiting. We don't realistically have enough berries to harvest the other guys. And then we need a forester soon.
We need this growing man. Four more pieces of wood. We have it. Oh, they have it. Yeah, we have it. Okay. They just need to bring it there and we got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Like, I think Boulder's Gate might be an example of, like, really good decision making. Because what happened was that they had, like, a early release thing. But they also made it so that there was, like, almost no coverage on it. Because they didn't really make it a big deal. And then they were slowly making the game, so to speak. Like, molding it into what we see is today with the community. From what I heard. I, I don't actually follow the production line for that. I just heard about that. And they said that it was amazing. Because they, they kind of did everything right. And then when they did get the big news and everyone started playing it, it was like, dude, this is amazing. Kind of a deal. So, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes the luck of the draw. But yeah, I feel like a lot of it stems from just poor decision making. I, I have to say. Alright, we got it. We got the farmhouse. Alright, we're going to get our first set of foods. Kohlrabi. This entire area, man, it's time. Uh, we'll get another water pump over here, I think. Later on, once we need it. Alright, so that's two people. That's going to be from the builder side. And then they're going to be working that. It's going to be fine. We have a second pump, but it seems okay for now. And then we're almost at the science. Once we get 60, hopefully we'll have planks to be able to build a forester, and then we'll be ready. All trees are done. Okay. So we are going to demolish and then demolish. All right. So we demolished the buildings, but the wood there is fine. So they could actually pick up the wood and use it if they move it in storage. But that's six pieces of wood. Would they move that? No, I need a storage building for that. Okay. Oh, I can't build the storage building, though, unless I have... Uh... <laughs> A classic. Uh, let me put one of these here. And this is going to store wood. Yeah, they can't use this. And then maybe I could use this instead. Oh, they're going to chop these trees, use it for the storage, and then pick the wood back in. Okay. Water seems okay. There's one guy that needs a job. Looks like I probably do want to get a hauling post soon. 64. Oh, I'm in. Alright, this is 7. Oh, I'm so close. One more plank. He's already making it. Okay. And then we'll have the forester. Yeah. Alright. So, we're going to cut trees. We're going to cut everything here. And here. It's kind of boys, it's time. There's a little bit of pine resin on some of the trees as well. I feel like you should be able to get trace amounts of pine resin from cutting a tree with the resin. I feel like that's fair. Oh, seven. All right, forester time. Okay, so there's a couple things with the forester. I want damn this is this is tough uh I wish I was able to do this I don't know where the optimal location is because I want it here I'm planting trees in this pocket but I want blueberries here I need that So that we could grow population. <laughs> That's actually why we want that. We need to grow the population. So... I want that in the middle. So let's let's have it like that. So if I want to go out... One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right from here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's up to here. If I do it right here. And then if I'm here, it'd be 
four from here. One, two, three, four. I see. So in order for me to do that, I have to be like right here then. Damn, that sucks. You lose everything if you cut them down. You really gotta let them bleed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yo, man, I guess it really do be like that sometimes. Uh, so... Alright, I think... So, we did... Here... And we went top side. One, two, three, four. So I have to be here. And then I'll go top to go more on that side. Okay. That means I need to do these four. And then I need to prioritize this. Dude, that was so much work. Hey, man, you could help them out, man, if, if that's what you're doing. I'm going to bop these plants. Let me get the space. Nice. Forester. Ah, look at that. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, you see that? If I move this to the left, I lose four tiles. That's pretty good. I could live with that. Alright, so then with that, I need to plant crops. Kohlrabi. Ah, uh, these trees are in the way. Okay. So, that means that the next thing I need is staircase. 70 science, four planks. So we still need planks, that's fine. We'll still make planks. Uh, hmm. The problem now is I want to dam this up so we survive the first drought. The problem with that is, well, guess what? <laughs> we don't get... There we go. So we want to do that. And then we know that eventually this becomes a path. Right? And then we'll put the lumberjack farms, like right here. Maybe just right here in the pocket. We'll probably put it right here. Man, I can't, I, I'm kind of mad. I'm gonna have to cut those trees. They should allow you to chop the trees, the baby trees. We need to chop those down. Alright, Forester. Oh, no workers in the districts. You're fine now, right? No? Still no? There we go. What's going on, Zoo Hybrid? I see you over there. I like this map. I played on it. I, I, I've i already lost on this map. <laughs> I've already lost on this map. Uh, and then we need coverage here, right? So we know we are going to have this here. And then I think we do it like that. And I end up destroying this. No, I guess we'll end up keeping that. And what we do is we move the gather flag to here. The gather flag doesn't matter. But there is a path here, right? So I'll do it here. Nice. Uh, we know that we'll have a path here. That has to happen. Right? Natural staircase. And then we're going to do... Demolish? Do hybrid though. How are you today? Hopefully the Mondays are doing great. What's well, good, man? I'll grow as much as we can over here. So this is going to be saved for water. We're just going to add a little bit more blueberries. I should be able to plant most of the things. A couple of things it looks like we can't. I think it's fine, though. Can't be perfect. Oh, minus four because we are out of food. Oof. I hate to see that kind of thing happen. 
All right, we're also going to want to get a second uh, farmhouse. We'll get that soon. We won't have that yet, though. I'm good. Just had pizza. Nice. What kind of pizza did you have? Pizza is always delicious. Pizza is always delicious. Always a fan. Always a fan. Chicken sweet corn. Oh, that's kind of unique. I've never had that before. Chicken sweet corn. That sounds pretty bomb, man. Not gonna lie. I had... I had chicken corn chowder the other day. And it must have been the best chicken corn chowder I've ever had. I'm not even kidding. It was, like, so good. I was, like, so confused for a long time. I was like, dude, this doesn't even taste like chicken corn chowder. What do you usually have? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Uglarvis, you there, man? I want to ask you, because I, I want to know what's your opinion on it. But, uh, when I, when I got pizza, I would recommend to people to get tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, and then, uh, I guess I could get this here. Chopped tomatoes and bacon. If you can, basil and onions as well. But, yeah. That's 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 the American go-to for me. <laughs> As a personal preference, by the way. That's a personal preference. I have freaking berries here and we can't eat it. So sad. Chowder. Chowder is kind of like a uh, milk-based soup, if you're uh, familiar with that. Milk-based, cream-based. That's probably a better way to put it. Cream-based soup. So the soup is... You know, it's savory, it could be sweet, but a lot of the times it's salty, and they mix in milk uh, near the end. You don't actually cook the milk at any part of it. A lot of it is you usually make a cream base, or you mix in the milk at the very end. There's two different ways to do it. The cream base has a more, uh, I guess, creamy texture, versus just adding the milk or cream at the end. It's just for like taste or appearance, for the most part. But I would say, man, mad delicious. Mad delicious. All right, Lumberjack flag's right there. And then we're going to connect both of these by bopping this one. All right, right now, move the berries, anyone? Come on, man, people are starving. Can someone just move the berries? I know we're lacking. All right, we're going to pause the mill because we don't have the labor force. Nice, so we're gonna move the berries in and people are gonna be able to eat. Oh, and we have kohlrabi, boys. Ah, uh, yes. You know what that means. We're gonna be eating turnips. All right, we're gonna need storage space for that. That's gonna be rather important now. Uh, food storage. So, we're going to go with 200 on the warehouse. I think that makes sense. Regular warehouse. Classic stuff. We'll just put it here. And then we'll put a path. We're almost at the staircase. Uh, that's the German way of saying turn it. Man, I was watching an anime the other day. And it's like, oh my god, what is this? I've never had this before. And they're like, oh, this is rice. <laughs> and I was cracking up. I'm like, dude, this motherfucker never had rice before. God damn. And, but he was like, oh my god, this is the blessing of the gods. And I was like, this is kind of weird, man. It's just rice. It'd be like that sometimes, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, so we're going to need the second uh, not forester. We need the farmhouse. We are gonna need the farmhouse. Isekai anime and the rice. Yo, what happens, man? It happens. Because the thing with rice is that I, I like rice. It's just that it's like traditionally not that flavorful. So it's like I, I would never be astonished just eating, you know, just rice by itself. That's the thing about that. Like, it's good. I'm just like, it's all right. <laughs> I can't say that. I say, oh, it's good. And then I end up going, oh, no, it's all right. 
<laughs> it's probably bad. Oh, I see. I probably end up water pumping here. If I do this, I end up not being able to reach most of the crops. Okay, I do need to put it on the side then. I wouldn't mind that. Double farmhouse. That way we could actually do harvest and uh, planting seasons a little bit better. Because right now we need a harvest. Y'all need a harvest, man? You got like no food? Some people are able to eat though. Alright, so we need the wood. Ah, uh, snap. Oh, four more guys, please. It's right here. Y'all gonna move it all the way there to move it all the way back. One more piece of wood. Hey, let me get... We need one more worker. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to bop an inventor. And then this is gonna be for the kohlrabi. Where is my kohlrabi? Here we go. That's like a potato. It's a tuber. I heard someone told me it's uh, German for turnip. And that's uh, similar to what they call the turnips over there. So I want to believe that. That we eat in turnips. Alright, we're going to do the kohlrabi right here. Alright, so this is the planting crew. Keep the food going. Rice is the best team must you over there. I love rice. For that, I have mastered how to prepare it. I'm not going to lie, man. I still struggle to make Mexican rice. I feel like it's, it should be so simple, but every time I make it, it tastes slightly different. The red rice, you guys know what I'm talking about? It's a German turnip, slightly different to the standard. Folktales still start with carrots. Ah, uh, yeah, so uh, because we're playing these guys, the folk, uh, the Iron Teeth that you have to unlock with uh, well being a 15, they actually have a separate crop diet. So you would have potatoes and carrots. Uh, I think you also have uh, maple seeds, wheat for bread, and then uh, chestnuts and uh, sunflower seeds. For these guys, you have kohlrabi, cassava, soybeans, canola oil, corn, and eggplant. So they basically play slightly different because it's different uh processing although it's very similar still i'm not a fan of red rice i prefer jasmine i'm not gonna lie man i'm a fan of the smoky flavor so anything that adds that has like a little bit of the burned i don't know what you call that not not burn, but like, you know, sometimes food gets burned. There's a little bit of a char, and there's that smoky char taste. I actually really like that. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of that. Alright, so the kohlrabi should be fine. We should be okay. And right now, we need wood. So... There's two things we could do. We could try to get here ASAP. But I know the drought's coming. Now the problem is, is that while we need... Oh, we could chop these trees. This is one wood each, though. That's the problem. It's not a lot of wood. I guess it would be better than nothing. Alright, we're going to do the double staircase here. We have the planks for that. That's an easy build. Alright, we don't have enough food. We're going to do double harvesting. Come on, guys. We need the food. Flooded building. Or at 5, they got kohlrabi diet. And it immediately goes back to negative 3. Yo, man. What the heck? Positive 1. Oh, and we're in. Alright. Uh, two people that we need. No one's working the planks. We have a Forster. The guy working the pump's fine. Uh, I guess this guy doesn't do anything right now. We could pause him. And we could bop one of the builders. That's going to be these guys chopping wood. And then we're going to need to chop trees here. Alright. So we want these woods. So that we start building our dam system. That's going to be over here. Let's go, let's go. 
Have you guys ever had gravy rice? I low-key want to learn that. They take, like, rice and they, like, cook it. Not, like, the normal way. Like, you just steam it right now. It's like, they actually, like, stir-fry it, add some spices and whatnot. And then they top it with gravy. Your computer's taskbar just disappear. That ain't good. That might mean that you might be having... I would hit control alt delete and look at how your computer is running your usage how much of your ram how much of your cpu how much of your gpu if it's maxed out that means your computer is potentially overheating right now taskbar disappearing is usually a sign of the computer slowing down really badly or a virus but uh yeah that's not a good thing man check that out want to make sure it's all good Alright, we're gonna be making our dams. It's usually if I'll explore crapping out. Ooh. Uh I would go through to see if you have any background apps causing the uh slowdown. I know that anytime I play the Sims, that they have the EA background thing. I don't know what that's called. They have a EA, uh the EA background service app constantly running. And I have to close it every time I finish playing The Sims. Otherwise, it's just running in the background. So there's like things like that that I make sure I turn off. I also turn off a lot of the default turned on. That's what I hate about getting a new computer. One of the things I absolutely hate, absolutely hate, is when a computer comes with bloatware. It's a lot of like minor apps and things that would effectively not do anything outside of uh you know a small feature but it takes up computation space in the background because it's constantly running and those things add up i shut off a lot of those there's like a news and weather forecast thing that they have for you on your toolbar i turn that off there's like a latest news and topics thing on the search bar i turn that off oh there's the drought uh three days do we have enough time to finish the dam we would be able to get three pieces. I don't know about getting the fourth damn piece up, though. Yeah, I've got a slightly oh, uh, odd laptop that has a bunch of bloatware that's needed to properly run the second screen. Oh, you need that? Oh, that's tough. That's tough, man. That's tough, battery suit. You gotta get a desktop, man. That's the only way to do it. I used to turn that stuff off. But now, with new PCs, I just clean stuff. I just clean and install Windows 11 much faster than going to get rid of the, the manufacturer bloatware. Yeah, so do, do they do that on the... So I have Home Edition for Windows 10. And that always installs the bloatware, like the Alexa, Cortana stuff. Can you do a clean install on Windows? Oh, dude, that's nice. That's what I need, man. I hate how they've made the installations. Oh, in order to do this, you have to sign into your Microsoft account. In order to do this, you got to do this and that. I absolutely hate that. Like, it's no options. It's just you got to do it. And they don't let you finish the installation unless you actually say yes. And I absolutely hated that, man, each and every time. Oh, you still have to turn off the Microsoft bloatware stuff. But other... Oh, no, I'm just talking about the Microsoft bloatware. I, I don't do manufacturer. Uh, I build my own PCs, right? And it's because at a young age, I've learned that you never want to buy a pre-built PC. <laughs> you, learn, you learn it early, man. You learn it early. Hey, what's this? Norton antivirus? Aw, snap. You know, like, huh, Kaspersky. Another antivirus that's already on my computer. <clears throat> And it's like, there's all these things that are on it. And it's like, oh, look at this. It's, uh, this is Fraps. It's a screen recording software. Okay. Oh, is that uh, Skype? Oh, that's on here as well. And you get all this, like, random stuff, man. And it's like, what the hell is this? All right. Oh, we're waiting. And the Forester is still planting trees. Okay. Let's do the blueberries. I need you to stop, buddy. We need some blueberries so that we could start uh, growing the pop. 
That's actually what we need a lot of right now. Waiting for the blueberry harvest. I guess we do also want to go up here and grab those blueberries. It looks like I might be able to do this soon, though. We need a person here. I've been meaning to install 11, but we need to find drivers for the displaying GPU. Oh, do you know about the curse shortcut? Uh, Control Shift Alt Windows plus L. Never heard of that. Yeah, pre built are Garbo, but average folks don't do customs. I'm uh, mostly talking about. I'm uh, mostly talking about in my profession when I set up PCs for people. Dude, customs is. I feel like it's so much worth it. You save money, and you don't have bloatware. And it's like you would have a better understanding of the machine you're running so that maintenance in the future is more intuitive, right? Like that's that's one of the things I just feel like it's like just a great experience all around if you can do that. I just feel like it's awesome, but that just might be me. All right, so my builders are slacking. What the hell is this, man? What are you guys doing, man? We need the dams. The drought's happening in about two days. Beaver Game Gwenchana, welcome in. Yes, we are into Timberport. Started a new run today because the last time we played this, we lost. <laughs> it was not a good time. But uh, yeah, welcome in, Gwenchana. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, it opens LinkedIn. Oh, shit. They have a LinkedIn shortcut. Wow. That's got to be a meme. That's got to be a meme. <laughs> not gonna lie time to build vertically with iron t yo man we're not gonna build vertically i'm just gonna go up to the top of the mountain that's gonna be the strat oh dude we have enough wood i just need the builders to actually build us in time two more yo all right one more dam that's all we need one more dam, yo, and then we'll be able to hold water and survive the first drought with no damage. That's actually pretty good. It's not just you. It's always better to know how things work. Yeah, man. So, you know how that's kind of like, you know, if, if you actually go down that route, it becomes second nature. Like, you just know the problems that happen. You know why things might happen. Ah, so the trees here are dead. Nice. Both of these guys are gone. All right, we have free wood. They're just going to go grab that, put it in storage. Uh, we need this. Oh, please finish this. 12. Oh, we have to move that wood. Oh, can they do it in time? They have to put it in here and then pick it up again and put it back. All right, they should be able to do it. At early game, you can increase the working hour. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, so these are oak trees, and these are insane for amount of wood you actually get. So we are going to want this setup, and then we're going to do that here. And then this forester is not going to fit. Okay. So we're just going to cut these trees. And then the logic is is that we'll just replant them. We'll get a force through there once we have wood. So we're just going to do this for wood. All right. So now this is cut off too. So this means that we're going to be able to just build buildings here. Can I just build on top of this? I can. Okay. So that's not a problem. The dead trees. Good afternoon. What's going on, Savage? Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Hope the Mondays are treating you well. Hope all is good in your part of the world. How are you, Savage? Hope you are doing good today. And of course, thank you for tuning in, man. Dude, we haven't grown a single baby. Because we haven't gotten blueberries yet. It's so sad. Alright, so we're not building anything, so we're just going to remove that builder. I wouldn't mind plank, so... 
Oh, you can't have less than one builder. That sucks. Um, these guys are not doing anything because the trees are growing, so we'll pause both you guys. You guys can work other jobs. One guy could do the wood plank. Oh, we just need one of you guys, though. And then the water is okay. We're going to need water storage soon. So he's going to be chopping these trees. That's going to be a lot of wood. And I think the next thing we're going to do is do the platform. All right, so we want to go this way. We're going to be climbing up the mountain again. Classic stuff. All right. Uh, this probably has to get bought, which is fine. All right, nice. So we have a dam now. We still have fertile land. This is not bad. We're going to be chopping the trees over here. Maybe I should plant food on this side. We never really had a problem with trees. We had a problem with food and water. Maybe we should plant food on the side, and that's what we need to do. That does make sense. I want to move up to the top, though. These is free wood right here. So this drought's only going to be lasting about two days. The day's already passed. That's not too bad. Timo, welcome back. Can I see you over there. I guess we could turn on the inventor. Chillin'. The science is going to be nice. Alright, so next tech we should probably grab. Uh, so I know we need metals and scrap metal if I want to do dynamite. Because we would need the metal to build the factory. That's 250 science. Okay. We wouldn't do water yet. Storage isn't needed yet. We don't have gears. So I guess we need to do power suit. Okay, let's speed this up. We're going to need the berries. The food's going to be nice to have a nice stockpile. And since we have berries now, we're going to turn these on. And then hopefully we'll be able to grow the pot. We need berries. Waiting for this guy. He's, he's doing all right, though, so can't complain. But man, we have a lot of wood. All right, one guy building, huh? We probably want some more help for this guy. But realistically, there's no real rush. I think he'll be fine. Breeding halted. Nice, he just got the berries and water at night. Good stuff, good stuff. So even if we pump up all the water, I'm not too mad. It's, it's going to be over anyways. Alright, good stuff. Drought ending, we're back. Berries, kohlrabi, all is going good. So it looks like I might want a larger food storage soon. I will consider that. So, one baby, nice. We got the first little baby from this. We're going to need to start having the population grow. That's going to be the big thing for us right now. The population growth. Water seems to be okay. We have a second pump, but we're not utilizing it. And then we're going to try to get the berries here. And then we need to start setting up after that the uh, wall setup. It's always going to be a fun time. So I guess we have to set this up. We do want the levy, and we also want the floodgate. That's 270 science. If we're not building anything, I will want another inventor. We're just not going to turn it on. That way my builder has something to build. Oh, he's already building that. Okay. We'll lower the priority on this. Not bad. So far, so good. I would want to say it's going smoother than our first playthrough. We didn't have any problems on the first drought. The first drought, we actually suffered. Our crops died. <laughs> well, it didn't die, it just stopped growing, right? Classic stuff.
I wonder if I should reroute this water. Because technically we just let this flow non-stop and use that as a... Uh, as a water, as a power source. Ooh, we could use that as a power source. That's an idea. That could be an idea. That would have to be a lot later on, though. Yeah, we have so much we have to wait for them to build. Guy's making us planks. We have the power for that. All the trees in the world from the oak trees, because we get eight logs each. That's so good. Sad thing is, is that once these trees die, though, and we chop them down, it's going to take so long to regrow. I don't even think we regrow them as oak trees. I think we do something else. But yeah, we got to wait right now. We got to do the floodgate strat, and then we got to do the uh, the bomb strat on this side. One, two, three, four. I see it. So we're gonna use the same line. I'll probably try to do it on this side instead. Bop this, and then have the wall back here. Spill it down this way. Yeah, it should be fine. Dude, Cole Robbie. 2.30. Alright, so last time we had food problems. So we're going to try to get ahead this time by having better storage. Uh, We know we want it like that. Because we want a second path right here. Kohlrabi. Oh, dude. We need more blueberry storage. That's actually kind of impressive. We'll have both right here. Yo, savaged. This guy dropped his phone. <laughs> Yo, man, this guy dropped his phone. You guys ever drop your phone, dude? Or have your phone in your pocket and you don't know the keyboard's on? Cat on the keyboard, that makes sense too. Cat on the keyboard happens to walk across. The classic. Alright, alright. So, we have plans of moving up to the top. This is our main water source. Everything else on the map is a dirty water source. The red water. And that means we're going to need to somehow work around this. Otherwise, we're going to have a bad time. I remember giving my keyboard a look similar. My baby preferred one or two buttons. Oh, I see. Yo, man. What if the cat just laid down on the entire keyboard? Be like that sometimes. Oh, you're missing a person. Why? Oh, somebody died of old age. Oh, no. We're negative on population. All right. Hopefully, these beavers will grow up fast. I probably want to get one more then. The population's kind of slow right now. Let me get a, another one of these. Breeding pots. And then that way, uh, hopefully we'll have all the berries for them. So this one is going to be blueberries. We should be able to build... Oh, we don't have enough builders... Everyone's working right now. Uh, I guess since the blueberries are full right here, he could do other stuff. We have uh, one open job, so he's doing the farming, which is fine. One guy's building, and then he'll build the other ones after he's done. He's making planks so that we could use it for the chairs. Dude, we really do need a hauling post, man. We need, we need more population. Alright, we're going to have to bop an inventor, it looks like. So he can work at the other jobs. Alright, almost done on the last staircase. Not bad, not bad. I feel like I'm behind on science, for whatever reason. Alright. Oh, we just got three babies. 
Ah, snap. Three babies were born. All right. It looks like we're okay now. Uh, so we're at 14. We're going to have to wait for these guys to grow up to be an adult. Does anyone know how long it takes for a baby to grow into an adult for the Iron Teeth? I don't know if it's ever any different. But... That is something. Oh, we have Kohlrabi space now. Nice. Blueberries need a little bit more wood. We got it. And then once we have space, we're going to need a builder. It looked like it took three days. I think it took three days. What was the question? How long does it take for a baby to evolve into an adult? I don't know if the Iron Teeth babies are different. I know that if you do the uh, advanced pond, they are born as an adult. So that's different. But normally, I think it's three days. I think that's about how, how many days elapsed. I might be wrong. Right, we're letting them live well, though. We're letting them live well. We got planks. We're building. We got the huts. We got to do the pod right here. Oh, we're low on water. All right, once we can, we're going to need a second water pumper. Oh, that means I probably need more water storage. Yeah, I probably need to set this up right now. So we're going to need gears eventually. Let's get the water tanks right here. Wow, the stream really cut out uh, as you answered. Is there a difference between... Uh, how long does it take for babies to grow up into an adult? I guess that's the question. Is it five days? Three days? I'm not actually sure. Breeding halt. Oh, we didn't feed this yet. Okay, we're going to need to get the hauling post soon. Up the pop. Dude, we're not getting the uh, harvest done in time. I guess there's that. I mean, we have food. It's not that big of a deal. So we have berries. They're going to be okay. I need more builders, though. At least this is ready. So I do want to get the gatherer up there once he's ready. Oh, I'm actually not sure that one. Let me poke around and see what I can find. I want to say it's five to six days. I thought it was three, but I think that's too little. So I'm thinking like five to six. It'll be somewhere in the mortality system. Oh, I have another question. Is what's the easiest way to learn how water moves in this game in terms of like water rule movement or water movement rules? Is that is that something that you could learn? Because I get the uh, wheel calculation thing you posted. But a lot of that is, it looks like it's determined by the speed of the tile. Dude. What kind of function is that? That's messed up, man. That's a messed up function, man. I'll be real. Oh, you can. There's a few simple but off rules. Okay. So what's the best way to learn that? Is there like a map or like an exercise to do? I don't know if that even makes sense. Calling it an exercise might be just false. All right. Looks like we don't need planks anymore. We're going to retire this guy. We're going to add a builder. Oh, wait. Pause, but so we have a vacancy still. Wait, what is he doing? Those are paused. Oh, the water pump. Oh, yeah, we needed the water. Forgot about that. I could try right up summary of light, but the water is, for all calculation purposes, 2D. 2D. So does. So depth does not matter. Is that what you mean? Because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you look at it top down like this then. Which means like the top layer matters, but the second layer that's below the top layer has no value. That's the only thing I could imagine when you say 2D. 
No worries though. A battery, if you need to take the time. No pressure, no pressure. I care if there's a drop, but not really how big the drop is. Top layer is the most important. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> kind of interesting. Alright, so we're on 9, and then we had babies born on 2-5. So that means it's been 4 days, we still don't have adults. That's fine, we're gonna get some more babies. And then once these babies are born, I think our new adults, or new babies, are gonna grow up soon. That's gonna be so good for us. We need this population boost, man. Maybe we should go up to 5. The thing is, is that I don't know if the population is going to be able to keep up, like the food. I'll right, we'll put another breeding pot in. You never know. Water flowing over an edge is capped at 2.2. .2. CMS, interesting. So does that mean water in the middle flows the fastest, technically? And you want straight lines? Because I would imagine the corners slow it down. Alright. Three babies born. Nice. Alright. I'll probably want a house soon. Oh, we're out of wood. Oh, no one's working here. What in the world? The heck is that? Yeah, kind of. What did I just say? I lost my train of thought. What did I just say? Water flowing over the edge is capped at 2.2. I said some. Center go oh, the center of the water going faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kind of. Okay, okay. So, so I guess if you were to have a river flowing in here like this, and I were to put the water wheels in, in sequence... So, like, we would have, you know, that, 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 that kind of a deal. The middle ones would be giving you the most horsepower, I guess is what I'm saying. They will give you the most amount of power. And that would be because the water is technically faster, right? In the middle. Would that be a viable way to just do that? Oh, so you need, you need inclines. Okay. I see you, AA Ron. Water slows down over long distances too, so waterfalls also help with speed. Okay, okay. That's interesting. Oh, we might be able to chill out soon with the water. We just want to cap ourselves up. Yeah, the middle generally would be faster, but also water wheels increase water height behind them. Oh, is that a thing? What? Wait, 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 wait. So does that mean if you have a flat river with no drops a water wheel in the beginning would cause the remainder part of that path to be faster am i understanding that correctly that the middle will generally be faster also water wheels increase water height behind them does that mean the water wheels increase the speed of the water and generates more power when i guess you chain them in a sequence that's kind of interesting if that does Oh no, wheels don't affect speed, okay. Because when you said that water wheels increase water height behind them, I thought that meant that it would add to the speed. I probably just didn't understand that, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're doing good. Uh, let's get the gathering post here. Alright, we're going to gather the blueberries. And someone's going to be able to work there. Nice. Free blueberries. Alright, so we will need a house soon. Yeah, we've got some babies being born right now. Housing. It's a bit weird, to be honest. But yeah, they don't want to affect speed, but increase height behind them. That sounds weird. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I'm just going to believe and be like, yep, that sounds about right. Yep, seem legit seem legit all right we're at 330 science we're doing pretty good let's grab the levy and let's grab the floodgate all right so we know we want the levees here 
And then I believe we wanted a path like that. All right, so it probably means I do have to mark these for destruction if I want the path here. That's most likely going to be needed. And then that means I could just walk in the water to get to this side. And then we get to the metal. Now I will try to floodgate this so that we could try to hold some water here. All right, going to bop these. And then we have one vacancy right now. Uh, let's pause one of the water pumps. Let's pause one of the inventors. Actually, I want to keep that going. Dude, we have food though. Look at this. Dude, it's 100%. Dude, our food storage is about maxed out. <laughs> yeah, the food inside the farmhouse isn't getting moved out fast enough. Oh, my pine trees need to be cut. Dude, I need population. Can my babies grow up now to be adults? <laughs> my babies need to grow up, man. We need y'all to work. Alright, we got the new housing in case the babies grow up. That's one guy still, still doing all the building. Uh, no vacancies. We can't add any more jobs either. So we will have to get the power stuff. Eventually. Looks like we're not going to be able to transition yet to the gears, although I want to. I want to get more pops, so we just got to have to wait. Then we'll get the trees from the pines. It's going to be good. This guy's not really doing anything. I guess we could pause. We're waiting for the berries to regrow. Planks aren't being used, so it's fine. Alright, let's turn this guy on. He could work there. All right, so we got the inventors chilling, generating some science. The food storage is actually really good right now. Do I need more storage? I'm using the wood and the planks. It seems to be okay so far. All right, let's get a demo here. Oh, the little pool in the middle. Nice. And we have a three-day flood. Nice. So we have the water pump here. We're going to pause both pumps. That way we just use the water in here. This guy's also paused because there's no power. That means he could become an inventor for science. The wood storage, I think it's going to it's gonna run out. <laughs> we don't have a lot of storage, so I don't know if that's going to be wise to get a second woodcutter right now. Unless we get someone to grow up. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, got the logs. Nice. It's too far. It happens. Actually, put this at half is probably okay. All right, first day. Not too bad. We have a lot of berries. We have a lot of water. We have a lot of coal robbies. So we can't complain, can't complain. Oh, someone grew up. Nice. We got someone growing on. Good times. Wood is very healthy right now. Okay, that means I probably want to eventually get away from the compact water wheel. And probably go for the uh, push wheel that we'll set up later. That's going to be the large power wheel. They're under horsepower. So it's four beavers. And then this is one beaver, so it's 4 is 240, so we get an extra beaver's power by using uh, the larger building. Nice. Mad life! That's not how that works. Sadly, man. I don't want you- I, I don't wanna- I don't wanna have that. We'll give you the refund, dude. Don't worry. Mad life, though, welcome in. How are you? How have you been, man? Hope you've been well. Hope you've been doing good. Alright, both woodcutters are fine. I guess it is idle time now, which is okay. So because we have a lot of wood, I guess it's time to build some of the advanced buildings that we would want. So gear workshop. Uh, we need this. Alright. 
gear workshop. We got the lumber mill. And then we have the power wheel. How would I think this would be how this works? Uh woods no here there we go all right and then we get power this way and we would do that nice I'm fine some days were smooth but that's life yo man I see wolf there have you played the Timberborn, Mr. Mad Life? Do you have the game? Oh, we're working on this now. Nice. So they're going to be able to use the wood. Uh, oh, we don't have enough builders to do this. That means that we'll pause you. We'll do that guy because we will need the water. Uh, the wood is backed up. So let's pause you. You could still keep cutting. We'll have you do that. We'll also pause an inventor for another builder. We gotta get building done right now. This guy's grabbing berries. Not because we want the berries, but just because we wanna clear the area. Ah, so growing up with beavers handled by a mix of life service and the bonus manager. Days of childhood set to six can be modified by well-being. Oh, so they grow up faster if you have a better environment, huh? Okay, that's kind of cool. I see you over there. I see you over there. That's not too bad. Don't play, but had some, uh, but have watched some videos. I guess if you click in the video, you can rename it if you want. You can, but I don't want to do it because they don't live that long, right? <laughs> we don't know if you die. There's no way to actually look at a list of the beavers. No, I guess the, I guess it could look like that. But then later on, it's going to be a big pop. I'm just going to give you back the points, Mad Life. I don't think it's worth it. Because you're going to die, dude. And that's going to be like, ah, dang. That's 10,000 channel points. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the refund, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. I guess if you want, we'll give you someone. Uh, they, I don't know how they sort. All right, man. Mad Life is going to be a science, a science guy. He's going to work at the inventor. Is that camera on Saron's eye? No, that's Mamba, baby. That's my kitty cat. The Mamba's napping right now. That's what he does. The Mamba rests as much as he can. A wise man once told me, the Mamba sees you over there. How you doing though, mean hat meanderer? Hello, hello. How are you? I love a good void kitty. Mom is the best void kitty. Best in the business. Uh, Alright, so now the drought's gone. We're going to want to hold on to one inventor. We're going to want this on because we're going to need the planks. We do have three people building. And that should be good. Ah. Uh, a lot of wood's being used. That's good. Looks like we have... One free guy. Put him on the water. Good, good. And you? We doing alright. We doing alright. I don't have my phone on me. Oh man, I'm a little worried. It should be fine. But uh, yeah, starting a new run with the Timberborn, the Iron Teeth. We failed last time, so we're hoping to do better now. I want to say we we've, we've haven't had as many problems. So technically, that should mean we're doing better. But at the same time, I'm not really sure. So we're at this point where I want to say we're doing good. I want to say we're doing good. Otherwise, though, cool weather, partially cloudy skies, can't complain. Spring's around the corner. I, dude, does anyone in chat have allergies? Because I'm not going to lie, man. I am not ready for that. 
increased pollen count, you name it, man. It's not going to be fun. I am not going to be ready for that. Yeah, man. I'm going to start sneezing. Dude, I've seen cats with uh, allergies. <laughs> I've seen cats with allergies before, man. It, it was It's pretty funny. Let's see a cat just sneeze, but it's like, if you have allergies, you kind of understand the pain. I'm like, yo, man, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Imagine being a cat and you're just sneezing and you don't know why. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. You really do. Oh, someone died. Feels bad. Alright, hopefully someone's going to grow up soon. Oh, these are about to... Yeah, once these are born, it means that the next, the, the previous group of kids are going to grow up soon. Alright, we're going to finally start rolling, I think. And we're actually over here. That's pretty nice. I do have allergies, but things I'm allergic to don't grow in this area. My allergies are from when I was a kid and lived on the other side of the pond. Oh, nice. So you're actually okay. That's good. That's good to hear. I get hay fever and fungal allergy. So I have sniffles in summer and winter. Oh, dude, that's horrible. That is horrible. Constantly having the sniffles, man. It feels bad. I don't have allergies, but some in the lungs not uh, be appreciated. I feel you with that. Bad quality air sometimes, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, man. I didn't have allergies till I got older. When I was a kid, I had no allergies. And then... Okay, so I never took... What's that test call when they stab you with like 50 needles? And then every every needle that swells up, or every dot that swells up, is a sign that you're allergic to something? I never took that test. And uh, so I thought I was just never allergic to anything as a kid. I didn't sneeze in the springtime, didn't have pollen count allergies. I would see commercials for them, like, yeah, man, I don't have that. And then once I got older, oh, Lord, dude, every allergy in the book started coming out. I would have allergic reactions to red food coloring. I would start sneezing every spring now. It's like you feel the tickling of the nose. Oh, man, it's horrible. Your nose is, my nose, not your nose. My nose is constantly runny. <laughs> it's a bad time, man, just all around. Random sneezing. I mean, that's because that's it's just pollen, though. But yeah, man, that was not a good time. It happened when I got older, though. Is that what it's called? The perquet? perquet? The perquet test? I know that's what they do, though. They stab you with the needles. Yo, my, can we demo this so we get a path? That's what I want right now. Planks and logs. Yeah, we should be able to build this, too. The prick. Uh, prickwit. I blame the age. It happens, man. As you get older, you might be getting weaker as well. Alright, so we have that. I also want to demo, I guess, this line. So that we could start getting a path to the inside. And then we'll probably put a tree cutting for the birch. And I technically want to go up here to get as much of the oak trees cut as possible. I think this helps us out a lot. If I have to be honest. I think this helps us out a lot. Alright, so we have three workplace vacancies. That's so bad. Come on, babies. We need y'all growing. <laughs> we need John to grow up, man. We need the babies to grow. So that's going to be the plan. We're going to be moving up here. We already have our first floodgate. We're going to be setting up a secondary floodgate system. We'll probably do a bomb platform setup as well so that we can cross. And then we're going to make it so that um, water spills out the side. It should work. It should all be okay. Ah, uh, we got the water wheel spot. 
Uh, let's just pause the wheel. Alright, so this is only a one-person setup as well. So this requires... How much? 75? And this is 60. Oh, that's a pain. <laughs> that's a travesty right there. Uh, hmm. Oh, this gives me 99. I will pause this one so that this doesn't have to use power. And then this would be powering the gear shop. That should be good. We won't be tapping anytime soon. And then we might go with the fermenter. I know that a lot of time this is going to be kind of important. Uh, how do I want to do this? Like, while I want that... Oh, really? That's such a pain. Okay, we'll do it. We have to do this, that, that. And then we have to do this for... Oh, oh no, I can't put it on the top. We do that, that. So the power goes through that way. There we go. I had to test for allergies. They put like 20 drops of different allergens on different spots of your skin, then scratch shallow cut the skin and wait for some of those to show allergic reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a pin thing, right? They kind of push it up against you. And then it's like, if it, if you like, if those dots like swell up. And then it's like, depending on uh, how many of the dots are the location of the dots. Yeah, that's the test. That's the test we're talking about. That's the test we're talking about. That's 60 per CMS, though. Right here? Damn. Really? I mean, it is a giant waterfall, so I would believe that. All right, so we want that. Chop all the blueberries. It might be that the blueberry storage is maxed out, though. Realistically. Yeah. Good news is, is that we are moving the blueberries back home. Oh, this is not on. So we have a lot of blueberries. Uh, dang. I want to keep this here. But I know that we need to demolish and go through. Can you prioritize? Oh, you can't. They should allow you to prioritize harvesting certain blueberries. Because I don't want to lose it. Nah, it's probably fine. We'll just have to bob it. Alright, just go through, boys. And then we'll chop all the birch here. And then we could finally get rid of... Uh, all that stuff up top. Alright. One vacancy. We actually don't need to do that because we don't actually have any of the food for that. It's good, probably going to be cassava. Probably want to grow that on this side, I think. But yeah, for the most part, yeah. We're going to not be able to regrow oak here. I don't think it's going to make sense. Like, while it's going to be nice, I don't really have a need for wood right now. We'll probably transition later once we move the uh, living area. It's going to take some time, but I think it's going to be okay. Oh, it's done. Nice. Okay, and with this, we're going to get a lumberjack fly. So, we're going to pause one of these lumberjacks. These are almost done anyways, and we have a lot of wood. We are not... Doing other wood processing. So this means that I probably need to do metal processing. Alright, we're going to set that up. There we go. So that we could path to there. All right, now we need to do cut trees. All right, so we need the planks. The planks are on, so we're going to be making that. Now we have four people here. We don't have too much to build anymore because that's done. We're going to cut this down to two. 
And then we're going to need to get the hauler post finally. Oh, this draws power across. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, this building draws power. I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, let's just put the hauling post right here. All right, we're at 283 science. We're not at enough. So we do want to make gears. Let's put two people here then. That's the two people we have that are idle. There we go. All right, so we will get a drought soon. The storage isn't being used, but I think it's fine. And then, oh, we are at 290. So we could afford this, right? Yeah, scavenger flag. All right, so they're going to do that for that metal. Already chopping the trees there, not bad. And then by processing the wood, I should be able to just go through the logs. All right, so there's this space down here that we used to grow food last time. I don't know if I want to grow food there anymore. And I'm thinking we might want another food storage. You could never have too much food. I learned that the hard way. Uh, this is raw food, right? Shouldn't really matter then. We'll just put it right there. This is going to be kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is going to be uh, food for our lifestyle right now. I think that might have been a mistake too, what we did last time with the cassava. We made cassava, but then you also have to ferment it, which means you have to devote one of these guys to work somewhere else. And then as, as a problem, that means you have someone cooking and you have someone planting and growing. Which means that the food has to be processed. A couple extra steps. Whereas just having a savage to eat a raw. I guess you could argue it's timing too. I don't know if that actually helped us. Alright, we have one free beaver. Uh, this is doing 157. We have 100% of the power, so it's not that big of a deal. The smelter is 300 science. Okay, so we're going to need to generate science. Two builders should be all right. We are at seven babies. Ooh, we're gonna need another house soon. Housing. All right. So that'll be shared. Very simple setup. Okay. Oh, two babies. Let's put both of them here. We want to build everything out. And then it's also gonna be dedicated haulers too. Mangroves are also good, but they require a forester and be in water. Mangroves. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to be growing mangroves until we could control the water. Because one of the things I'd be scared of is we grow the tree. And then on the second half of the 10 days right here, so that we get the, the mangrove fruit, we get a bad water. <laughs> You get a bad water season, and then the tree dies immediately. Yeah. We're going to do that once we have water control, I think. <laughs> I think it'd be wise to, uh, you know, not get bodied. They, that seemed like trouble, at least early mid-game. Yeah, we're probably going to do that later on. Later on, it makes more sense. I feel you guys with that. So, you know what I'm thinking of doing here? Double stair platform. So that we can have better travel options. That way the movement I think is better. I'd want a deeper water of a reservoir. Yeah, I could see that. That'd be nice. Pathing up to here and just adding water with the uh, fluid dump. We could try that as a meme strat. <laughs> Dig a hole, add water into it, survive the drought. It is that easy. Oh no, he broke his teeth. How come that's not here? How come I don't get a notification for that? 
Come on, man. You're gonna give me, you're gonna give me something for that. All right, so he broke his teeth. We gotta make a little well-being area. We'll put it right here. We'll also put the medical bed. Yeah, someone's gonna get hurt soon. I'll put both of these here. Any teeth? Yo, man. Teeth chip, man. He's gonna see the tooth fairy. And the tooth fairy's gonna be like, yeah, man. Oh, he's doing scrap. Let's go. Dude, that's far, dude. I have a sub. Yeah, man. You probably gotta give sub from someone. Whoever it is, the notification will be on the top right of the screen. Oh, dude, we just had four people just die. How do we have four vacancies? All right, we... Oh, I just opened up the haulers, that's why. Uh, we're going to bop two builders, and then we're going to bop two haulers, so we should be okay, balanced. Yeah, that seems good. That seems like everything's okay. How you doing, Alpha? I see you over there. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. So far doing so good though in the colonies. I want to say we're making good decisions by not stretching out the labor. The drought's coming, boys. Alright, we are... Alright, not now, but I will partially self-flood. I think that's going to be kind of nice. Is building a Hoover Dam a viable strand this game uh, for the dry seasons? You can't. That's actually what I have. I have a miniature dam at the very end of my uh, growing area where I'm growing food. That way we hold water in this area so that we have fertile land during the drought periods. Now, the problem with that is you could do that. The only problem is, is that occasionally in the future, you're going to have a bad water season. A bad water season converts every water source, bad water or regular water, into bad water. Which means, while you could do that, you need a way to actually deal with that change as well. Later on, that's going to be something in the game that's going to be the main challenge. This effectively is going to be bad water. And if you have only bad water and no clean water, all your crops immediately die. That's what the cracked earth does right here from the bad water. It kills the plants. So if you don't deal with that, you're going to have food problems. So you're either going to have to overstockpile or you have to figure out a strat to either reroute the water or, uh, you know, try to do something else. There's probably other ways to do it. We're, you know, still learning. But yeah, Sky Captain, the Hoover Dam strat is viable in the beginning. Later on, though, you're going to have to adapt to uh, some of the future challenges. I am enjoying WoW Classic. Then Tarkov. Oh, nice. I see you over there. Playing some EFT and some WoW Classic. Are you on Seasonal Discovery? Tired after the shift. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Sounds like you work late. Going to stay up and eat first, Alpha? Sounds like you want a second channel to divert it away from home. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing is exactly that, Zoo Hybrid. I set up some floodgates here. Because technically it's two feedants, right? And it flows out this way. And that's our main water source that we spawned with. So we're putting floodgates here. That way we could actually control the height. And then we're going to open up a new channel on this side. So that the water has a way to divert down this path. And this is a red water path. And since this is downhill and we have a blockage there, I think that makes the most sense. We could try to divert it elsewhere. I just don't see an easy path. So I think this makes the most sense. Ah, oh, I see you. I see you over there, Alpa. Yo, man, take care of business. You probably got to stay up late, man, because of the new babies. I see you over there, Alpa, man. You tired, man? Everyone I ever hear that has kids tell, always tell me that. They're tired as hell. And I believe it. <laughs> like, you tired? Yep, I believe it. Be like that sometimes. I guess we don't need this guy here. We could pause the blueberry man. We still need the wood, so we'll let this guy do his thing. We get explosive before bad water? Uh, I did it last time, and I should this time as well. 
Oh, we got a new guy. He'll be an inventor. So to get the explosives, we need to get metal. So we already got some ruins being scavenged. Next thing we're going to have to make is, well, it's actually going to be storage. Uh, scrap metal is on the basic small industrial pile. Okay, let's make a large pile. The large pile will just go here. Just because it's, it's nearby, we're going to have this. But in order for us to make explosives, the factory cost uh, smelted metal. So we have to get this first, the smelter. And then we could start building the explosives factory. Uh, the planks and gears we have already, it's just that the metal we don't have. So we don't have the science and we don't have the materials. That's what we're getting at the moment. We're going to need to set that up. Oh, we're missing a uh, scientist. We're going to need someone to grow up, man. These babies. Oh, we just got a new round of babies. Yeah, so we're going to have some adults coming soon. I guess we could bop one hauler to get a new inventor. But yeah, that's going to be the play. At least we're going to try. Oh, this guy has no more wood in the area. Okay, I think that means I'd be able to start growing food here. The thing is, is that while that's potentially what we'll do, I don't think that's actually what we need to do. Oh, I could actually help him out and start uh, harvesting that. That's not bad. Extra hands. I'm going to build this, but we're not going to have workers work on that. And then we can't grow the food on the cracked earth right here, so we have to stay away from that. So... We will let the baby's tree grows. Oh, this is 94%. This has got to be a meme. It's just going to spread out, dude. It's going to be like one of those uh, Acme commercials. Just add water. Dude, you guys ever seen that? Some guy had a box of dehydrated water. And then he added water to the dehydrated water. And then he got like millions of gallons of water. The classic, dude. The actual classic. There we go. Love it. Rascal behavior. Dude, man. That's... That's... That was Bugs... I remember watching that as a kid. It was Bugs Bunny. And he was trying to fill a pool with water. So he took a scoop of dehydrated water and took a uh, dropper. The water dropper. And squeezed a drop on it in the pool and it filled up. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. That's a thing, huh? As a little kid, I didn't understand the joke. Oh, it's dehydrated water. That sounds very scientific. And then it's like, oh no, yeah, I'm just not smart. <laughs> yep, that's, yep, just not smart, man. All right, full height. We're gonna hold as much water as we can here as we can. If we lose water at the bottom, that means then we need to probably release some of the water from up top. This is going to be a three-day drought. Let's stop pumping the water. Once our storage goes down, then we'll be fine. Looks like right now I wouldn't mind another inventor. Science rules everything, so it's kind of nice to have some science. Uh, ooh, food is going down. Might be a problem. Oh, uh, these guys were helping out with some harvest. We actually don't need these guys working here. So the two people water pumping and the guy here, that's three people. I guess those three people could be haulers. And then we had someone grow up. Nice. So now we're at 30 pop and we have 40 in housing. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Right, guys, I'm going to pour me some coffee. I don't know what it is. Black coffee. Always a great time. People of chat. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one sec. <laughs> Got to pour my coffee real fast. People of chat. Is there something known as a optimal table height? 
Like, you guys know when you sit down at a coffee table? The table's at where your knees are at. And then when you sit down at a dinner table, the table is kind of like where your chest is at. Is there optimal height to eat at when sitting down? There is? Which, which one do you guys prefer? Like, is there a specific layout that you guys like? Maybe it's a dinner table and it's closer to your face. Maybe it's on the coffee table and you like it so that, uh, you know, it's it's at that height level. It's the same as optimal workplace in the office. Really? There's actually like an ergonomic thing. There's many papers on it. Wait, that's a thing? Wait, hold up. Every single person has an optimal seating position. Desk height, ETC. Oh, wow. That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. That's actually scientifically studied. I'm kind of impressed. Real talk, man. That's actually scientifically studied. Someone took time was like, yo, man, we got to do research on this. That's that's actually pretty impressive, man. Not going to lie. Four vacancies. Oh, it's because I did this. Uh... Wait, and then now we have two vacancies. Okay, we're going to do that and we'll bop that. Ergonomics is quality of life. People get used to bad habits. That's true. 100%. Yeah. 100%. People get used to bad habits. That's 100% true. Dude, I wish there was a the, the mid-size industrial piles, man. I guess I'll put it here. Wow. So, office desk height and... Uh... I probably don't need this because the food's all right. Yeah, we'll pause this. I probably might want to grow cassava, though. And you get one. Okay, how does the food work? Four cassava equals ten fermented. Why does that feel like it's still not worth the kohlrabi? Like, the kohlrabi feels so much better still. All right, we'll turn this on and have it at half. Too low, your stomach gets squeezed from bow uh, bowing forward to eat. Oh, I eat at the desk with the computer. That's why I changed the height of the chair between working and eating. Oh, that's smart. Albeit, dinner table seating is different than workplace behind a computer, but the same principles apply. But usually, you don't eat dinner for hours on end. But how you know comfort when you're seated properly in a... But you know comfort when you're seated properly in a restaurant. Ah, that's interesting. What about standing up? I have heard maybe way too many times that eating while standing up is really bad for you. Is that the case? I've heard that's a thing. It's absolutely not. Wait, wait, it's not bad. Wait, wait. So it, you can eat standing up and it doesn't impact you? So when I was in, uh, man, all of grade school from 1 to 12, I have never sat down at a cafeteria. I have always eaten standing up in my entire grade school career. And it was because the tables are always gross. Like, you know, I went to public school. No one's like properly cleaning all the tables. So it was like you eat standing up with the homies and it's like there's usually not really a place to sit either. Like to me, it's like, yo man, I feel like that sometimes. Gotta dip, take care. Yo man, battery smooth. Lunch is over. Gotta go sit back up and start doing the work. <laughs> we'll see you next time, battery soon. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good one. I see you over there. Eating while swimming is bad. I see you over there. You get some cramps, right? That's what they say. The only downside when you eat uh, hastily while standing is as opposed to being seated. Oh, so it's not that it's bad. It's not as good 
as eating while sitting down. The main argument of fine against eating standing up is that you have fewer points of contact failure for the klutzes in the crowd. Oh, so it's not actually impacting your digestive ability. It's literally just you might drop your muffin. <laughs> the dinner roll might roll off the plate. Something stupid like that. <laughs> right? So it doesn't actually impact your health. Like it's no it's not worse for your, you know, digestive tract or anything like that. And sometimes I'll eat lunch while standing watching video. It's kinda nice. Oh, okay. Interesting. No clue about eating while standing. Do have an adjustable desk when I can stand at work now. That's amazing. Oh man. That's a luxury, man. 100%. 100% of luxury. Adjustable heights. That's 100% of luxury. That's that's something I would love to have, though. At the same time, I, I really don't know if that's something I would want to have at the moment. <laughs> I feel like... Man... What about walking and eating? Can you do that? Water resistant food? Doesn't that mean you can't digest it then if that happens? <laughs> the food is just floating in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's food that you could eat while walking, right? Typically, this is something at like a farmer's market, some sort of event. Right, you go around. You'll have a lot of finger food, right? And it's it's designed so that you could walk around, check out the stalls, check out the area and entertainment, maybe the views. And then there's people handing off food that you just pick up with one hand. So food that's designed like that, and you have it. Is there any downside to that? And what I mean when I say that is, is that it's like, is it worse to walk around while eating outside of like dropping the food and just purely looking at? your digestive ability. I eat and walk all the time. Got back from Japan in November and learned it's disrespectful there. Ah, I, that's what I would, that's, dude, that's exactly what I would do though, Borove. I, that's uh, happy you told me. One of the things I would love to do is just walk around like as a tourist and eat while walking. Dude, knowing that that's <laughs> disrespectful is, yo man, nice. Man, I know better now. <laughs> But yeah, man. Mm -mm. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. I don't want to disrespect the people there, man. That'd be messed up. All right, so we got the smelter, and then we're going to start needing the explosives at 400 science. We got to save up still. Briskets. Brisket fries at the fair. Oh man, I see you over there, Ace Cal. This guy knows, man. Working from home, it's a necessity. I also got walking pad, small treadmill, so I can get some steps in too. I, dude, I need physical activity, man. I'm so out of shape, it's so bad for me. I need some physical activity, man. I need to start like just walking around. Dude, like there was a hill the other day. I went outside to walk, and yeah, I went outside, man. A lot of times I just stay home. So there was this hill. It's like it's not even like a big incline. And I was just walking up the hill, walking down the hill, and then walking back up the hill and walking down the hill back home. It was 10 minutes. Yo, man, I was like, dude, my legs. God damn, dude. Walking up a hill is not the business. <laughs> like, I'm out of shape, dude. Holy shit. I was like, I got to start walking, man. I need to do something, man. Like, this is not even supposed to tire me out, but, like, my legs, I was like, dude, I can't be like this. <laughs> I can't be doing it, man. And you know what I really want to do? I want to make one of those hamster wheels that you have in Oxygen on included. And then I want to make it so that I could just save power on the electricity bill by running, you know, at home on the uh, circular treadmill. Like, yo, man, we got to get that, man. And then I got to get a miniature one for Mamba. So he could run on the wheel and help power the house, too. And then I'm just going to get, like, an army of cats. Get a laser pointer. And then, boom, free power. Just like that, dude. You know how fast cats run when you have a laser pointer? God damn, dude. The speed is something else. Oh, damn, we're here? God damn. Okay. 
Uh, no good in stock. We bought this guy. And then we're going to chop the trees. Uh, cut trees. We're going to do everything here. Uh, let's go. If totally out of shape, I recommend an e-bike without uh, throttle handle. OFC. Making cats work for food. Yeah, man. It's a way to do it. I have... Um, what do you call that? It's technically not a... Man, I don't know what you call it. What do you call just the pedal part of a bike that, you know, you do your pedaling? <laughs> I don't know. What do you call this? It's it's the thing. Not a crank. It's literally a pedal that you would basically put for your feet. So you're like, you're riding a bike, but there's no wheels. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like a thing that's just, you put on the floor, you sit on a chair, and you're able to pedal. Is it a home trainer, Abductor? I see you over there. Mad life. The water problem you have? Start, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a third pump, though, so we hopefully we'll be fine. You know what I think I need, though, Mad Life? And I need to put it here. We need to put the large water storage. I think we're going to need that. Thank you for uh, reminding me, though. Yeah, we're going to need that for water. Fairly speaking, you'll spend more on cat food than save on electricity. Otherwise, there would be commercial cat power generators. Nah, man. If there is, Leo, you just don't know they exist. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that. Sometimes, you just hate to see it. I see you over there, though, Leo. You might be right. Fairly speaking, you're going to spend more on cat food. At least I wouldn't have, uh, actually, no, they'll probably just eat more because they develop, uh, they get hungry from working out, right? Large, that's only medium, my bad, my bad. That is indeed medium. We cannot afford the large, yet. we don't have the metal. And we do have a guy. All right, that's another science building we'll want. Alright, this guy, I guess, doesn't have to work here until these trees grow up. That's fine. I always power... I always beeline the powered science because it's so much faster. Is it? The number cruncher? This is 500 horsepower, though, dude. I don't think I could do that in my playthrough. Because I need the science to survive. Uh, so I think it's on cycle six. We get our first bad water season. After that, we get a drought season. And then after that, we get constant bad water seasons. If I don't use the science for some tech stuff, I don't think I survive. I don't think I could do that on this playthrough. <laughs> I might be wrong. It might be just kind of like I'm lagging the skill skill issue you know common common problem it's uh something you hear people say a lot oh skill issue seem legit but yeah i don't know if i could do that man 1500 science that's a lot oh maybe if you're talking about folk tales it's different let me rephrase i beeline it to it once i have some sort of food and bad water under rudimentary control oh i see i see all right, so you stabilize the... So you, you prevent yourself from losing. And then once you know that you won't lose, then you win. Yes. I believe that's what's known as the common strategy. <laughs> I'm just I'm just memeing, Nighthawk. I'm just memeing. Stabilize the core, then sides. Yeah, seem legit, seem legit. I see you over there. I guess we could put two people here. We are uh, slacking on the planks right now. Realizing you have a skill issue is half the solution. Dude, that's actually why I stopped playing Overwatch. I realized that I can't carry a team by myself. So playing public matches was a nightmare. <laughs> Not even kidding. 
not even kidding. Oh, that's a that's an upper layer. Oh, I didn't realize that. Dude, man, I stopped playing Overwatch, man. Because I realized that, like, while I'm decent as a player, unless I have another player that's pretty good, I lose every game. Because I'm not skilled enough to carry the team on my back. I could get maybe two kills, but then I really need to get five. But I, it's also because I play DPS. I'd be like that sometimes. All right, this is very, very far. Hopefully it's fine. This is at two. Oh, we are building nearby first. Yeah, it's fine. Would we need to do this? Planks and gears. Yeah, so two people on here should be fine. Let's get the third guy. Hauling's at three. Uh, what are we building? I guess it's not much we need to build. It's only like three buildings. I guess once these two are done, we'll pop the builders. And then we would need to... I guess there's the inventor here as well. We have a lot of wood. It's not a big deal. Oh, and we're down to vacancy. Uh, let's bop one of these guys. Two vacancies. Is people dying? People die. Oh, we built this. Okay. And then we had another one for the woodcutter up top. Yeah, that makes sense. So that means he's still chopping wood as he should. This is fully grown. Okay. We'll get this alive so that we could replace the plant soon. That one's fully grown as well. And food is really good. I guess we could pause on... Oh, I'm not even harvesting berries anymore. Uh, yeah, it's probably science then. We'll bop science and one hauler. We still need to chop the woods. You got it, buddy. There it is. Oh, he didn't move the wood yet, so I actually can't plant. Are you missing the ability to use fire poles to shorten the commute? No, man, I need plastic. That's actually what I need. I need transit tubes. That's real speed. That way we just fly up to the top. Don't have to think about uh, walking. Fire poles would be nice, though. Come on. Move the wood so we could plant the crop. Nice. And then there's a new tree to chop. Alright, we're going to plant these as well because it's not in the cracked earth. Alright, moving the wood. Alright, so then now we don't need this anymore. And then they're just going to move the wood back. Nice. Good stuff. We are going to line this up. It's because we can. Alright, so we're making planks. This is at two. So this is probably different, right? Compared to uh, folktales. So the ratios are probably off. I know in folktales, you could go by and get uh, multiple mills. But then again, you only put one person in the mill. Since you put two on this one, I think it's going to be more efficient. Two solids are better than one. But we do process uh, the planks into gears, though, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, we have two free beavers. One will go here. I remember you said you need no oil yesterday. Planning on Dracoplastic only? Yeah, we actually have Dracoplastic, and I think we are in abundance, which is the reason why. I wasn't going to use it for power. I, di I didn't think it was going to be necessary. So, yeah. We already have enough plastic. I could probably replace a lot of my ladders, too. We're already doing the data bank generation. So, yeah, we have a lot of plastic. It's just that I don't think there's anything else we would need the oil for, either. But, yeah. Treco plastic only. A lot of times, it is good enough. Alright, we have three housing space. That means... Let's get a new house. So we're at five pods right now, which is okay. Uh, let's start getting some housing up here. It's a little bit further away, but I think it's fine. Alright. 
All right, we have a couple guys there. Science is at 300, new house. Nothing needs to be built. We got the inventors rolling. This is 400 science. Okay, this is going to be the next thing we're going to build that we realistically need to try to make. So we're going to need planks. We're going to need the gears. Oh, we're still making this. Aw, oh, snap. Oh, and this is 98%? No way. I don't have enough juice. Oh, man. All right, we're going to need another power wheel. I usually save oil for power and use directos for plastic. You could do that as well. It's not a, not a bad thing with that. All right, so this is in. That means we can start stockpiling the gears. 350. We'll have enough science tomorrow. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the explosives factory right here. And then have a power wheel right here. That way we could have both of them using up the space a little bit better. That also might mean I might be able to move the fermenter to this area if that's the case. That could be pretty good. We'll have to see though. Got to get the 400 science for the explosives factory. And we got to unlock the explosives. Uh, there's also the centrifuge we could think about using. I don't think we'll use that yet, though. We'll have to just use a tier 1 explosive to get it started. Alright, so... 400 for the factory. Alright, so we likely want it here. Oh, I could do it here, and the fermenter goes into the pocket. And that means... We're gonna get another power wheel here. This fits really well, and I could just do it like that. Or we do it like this. This also works pretty well. Uh, the path at the bottom or path on the left. This would be really good, actually. That would still draw power in. But technically you want it like that. Uh, I guess you could do it like this though. Let's demolish this. Let's do it like this. Power connection is blocked? That's fine, right? That should be okay. So we do that. Uh, that means I can demolish this. And then I could put another building there. And then I would want landscaping. Explosives factory right there. This connects the power together. And then we could move the fermenter here. And then technically we get the pathing like that. So this is going to be minus priority. Just because the other two are more important. So that's going to be that. The metal, the gears, the planks. Going to be using all that. All the wood as well. So we have a free guy. We're going to need a wood chopper. Uh, planks. We're waiting for power. We could do one berry guy because this is full. This is a berry spot as well. All right. So we're chopping the wood, but the logs are full. That means I think we're going to need more haulers. Yeah, hauling is going to be fun. And then we're going to need more wheel runners because of that. <laughs> Good times. Uh, no recipe, so it's fine. Alright, we have three farm housing right here. I'm hoping this is okay. This, oh no. This doesn't actually help out this building. Maybe we should grow a second crop. But then we're running out of space. <laughs> Dude, we really need haulers right now. I'm scared to add more breeding pods because I think it's going to bop me in the face. I want to say we're doing pretty good. I think we should be using more breeding pods. I think me choosing not to use breeding pods might be a bad decision. Because we're always, like, behind. <laughs> 
It feels weird. We're always behind. At least that's what it feels like. Alright, so none of these trees here will grow. Ah, that means, yeah, this is fine. Wait a second. That's like that. Oh no, it's the crops plant on top of it as well. Yeah, so we should be okay. Water is flowing, everything's good. We have a free guy, he's gonna go to the spot right here. Water's at 200. Oh, these are looking pretty good. Yeah, looks like I think we need hauling right now. Is I think, ooh, oh no, it's because of that. Let's pause that, we don't need it running yet. All right, so metal's at 12, and this is at zero out of 30. Once we get the metal, I don't think we make any more. No, I think we do. I think we just don't make storage for this, so that once we have enough metal, we just pause it. Because while having it is nice, I think we need to focus on making the uh, path on the side. Very likely that's going to be the case. Oh... We're going to try to reroute it to here. Uh, I probably do want to platform this right here. I know that it's probably not wise to do that at the moment, though. Ooh, and another hauler. Nice. So we have two builders. We don't have enough goods, so it doesn't really matter if we make them work on that now or not. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, two more du uh, dupes. Two more beavers. Two more dupes. All right. So, day 12. What's going to happen soon is we're going to get a uh, warning. Once this hits that, I think, on 13, we're going to get a three-day warning. If not 13, it's going to be on 14. All right, so we're at 270. If you play Iron Beavers, would you technically be dupes? Hey, that's true. Everyone's a copy of each other. Everyone has the same birthmark. Everyone's name is Ace Cow for some reason. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. We need a lot of gears. Yeah, 98%. Okay. We do want this on then. Let's get two people on this. We need the power so that we have efficiency pickup. Oh, the building is not done, so it's pointless. Uh, yeah, the power isn't transferring right now. Look, as long as we can't claim a name, a colony, and live forever for given any accidents, it just ain't the same. That's true. That's actually why I don't want that to be a thing. Oh, you know what I remember? There used to be a thing in this game, I, I believe. There used to be a thing in this game. Is it still here? Is it gone? Oh, that sucks. There used to be Twitch integration for this game. Or no no, I'm thinking of the I'm thinking of a different game, never mind. They need to add Twitch integration to this game. Uh, it's the wrong game. So there is another game that has a very similar kind of like life cycle, if that makes sense. Um, you know, you're gonna have people being born, you're gonna have people growing old and dying. But it's somehow, you know, it's that's just how population works in that game. What they did was that they had a setting for Twitch integration. And it made it so that the people that were born were people from chat. So effectively, everyone in chat would be in the game. Now, the funny thing is, is that the game that I'm talking about right now has a smaller footprint than Timberborn has at the moment. The other game I'm talking about, it's called The Wandering Village. It's effectively, you're on top of the uh, turtle from Avatar and he's walking around and just grow on top. They have an integration style just like that. If they could do it on launch, well, it wasn't on launch. It was around early access. I mean, they're still in early access, right? So it's like, I, I would imagine Timberborn guys could do the same thing. 
Like that's honestly not that difficult. All you need to do is be able to pull the user list from the guy that's playing this channel, and that's going to be tied to their Steam account, and then bam, get the names in. That's all you got to do. I know Universim had something, uh, had that feature. Ah, didn't know. Oh, they just had an update. Yeah, I heard about the update. I haven't played it yet, though. Oh, that? I think they built it with Twitch integration as a core feature desire. Oh, so it's going to be a little bit different, huh? Hmm, maybe, maybe, I mean, I, I, I imagine Timberwolf guys maybe will be able to do it. Who knows? The icons are a bit small on my screen. What resource buildings? Ah. So I'm hitting tab right now. Can you see these icons, Skycam? So if you hit tab on the game, all your storage piles that are selected has an icon with quantity on top of it. So nothing here because it's not selected. Wood, kohlrabi, blueberries, kohlrabi even more, more blueberries, and then water. Then we have water, scrap metal, and logs right here. We don't have any storage for the proper planks yet. Um, since we have a log storage here, I probably want to do planks here then. Get that started. Planks is going to be kind of important. It's going to be the base step one process material. Uh, and then we still have to get the metal blocks. Yeah, we have none right now. They added trading and changed up the poison mechanic, I believe. Trading. Oh, they have trading? That's kind of cool. I feel like that that game, though, Wandering Village, is steps behind this game in terms of how close they are to becoming a full-fleshed, uh, proper, complete video game. I think there's steps behind and that this is uh, ahead by a little bit. There it is. I was on 15, not 13. I lied. And we have a drown. Okay, so no bad water season still. That's good. Explosive factory. That means we're going to have to get the bad water pump soon. Which is going to be this one. So we need to get the bad water pump and start pumping the bad water. That's going to be on the side. Uh, I will also do the meme strat here. I guess it makes a lot of sense that we would do it. All right. The dam for the bad water so that we always have uh, bad water if we really need it. And I guess we could start moving some of the water storage there. All right. Small tiles. That makes sense. And then we'll have to have a bad water pump. So I'll put it back here. I could also do it like here and put it on platforms. I think this is fine though. Oh, this requires metal. Okay, this is going to be low priority. And then that connects. So we need the bad water pump because that's actually the resource you need to make uh, explosives. So once we get this, we have to make the other one. Have you played it, Ace Cow? Since they changed up the poison mechanic, I'd be curious to know how they changed it. I would be curious. Two free beavers. Let's make them builders. Maybe hauling might have been better. Oh, the kohlrabi's going down. Uh, let's see then. All right, they probably want to be harvesters then. The amount of food we have is going down. That's not a good sign. I might want to stop breeding then, or we have to increase the amount of food we generate. Well, I guess the blueberries can be paused because we're maxed out. I don't want to get more blueberry storage. Doesn't really make sense. So we'll just have enough to grow the people. And then I guess we could try to make another farmer's camp. So that we get more people harvesting. Because that's, that's the problem right now. It's not so much a problem with growing the food. We don't harvest everything in time. If that's the case, I might be able to pull this off then. We're going to move the water pump to here. I think that'll be fine. So the logic with that is we're going to bop this and put a farmer house right here. 
<laughs> I think that's going to be the plan. Alright. This is missing three pieces of metal. We're almost there. And then once this is done, we can actually have people start uh, powering so that we have better efficiency. Dude, I'm off by two horsepower. Two horsepower, man. That's it. That's all we're off by, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We had someone else grow up. Nice. Thirty out of thirty. Oh, we just need someone to build this. We just need someone to build this. Come on. We're so close. Four out of four. Uh so there's no I mean I guess there is builders that need to uh there's still builds that need to happen. Alright, five day drought. Uh pause full wall. We're gonna hold a little bit more water here than usual. And then I think it's going to be pause for the pumps. So we're at 300 water, which is a good amount. Let's max this out. Oh, that means this has to pause, right? Because we're not getting flow anymore. Yeah, I don't know how this is spinning. I'm going to be real. I don't know how this is spinning. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how this is spinning. Oh, it's slowing down. It went from 21 to 18. Guys, I got to pee. I'll be right back. I hope this is... It went up. It went up. 19. 20. It's going up. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'll be right back. Yo, we back, we back. It's still rolling. Dude, what the heck's going on? There is no water flow. I'm gonna be real. I don't understand this. Dude, you know what's happening? This is ridiculous. I know what's happening. This happened to me before in the first playthrough. Oh, this is so ridiculous. And I think it has to do with the shape. It's circulating. The water is circulating. Left side goes down, right side goes up. That's actually what's happening, if you guys didn't know. And it makes no sense. How do I know this? The first time I played this map, I had the wheel on the right side, and every time in a drought, it immediately stopped. There were some instances, too, when the water was flowing, and I didn't get any power at all. So I ended up moving my plank mill to the top. So, yo, that's jank. I don't know why it's like that, but I know it's like that, and this is proof. It's been a full day since the drought. Dude, that's so jank. It shouldn't work like that, but it does. I need to find out how the water works. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Warm coffee. Gross. You hate to see this kind of thing happen. Let's pop this. All right, we have two free beavers. We have four people working. All right, so we could do two here. Warm is better than cold, though. No, cold cold co uh, coffee is iced coffee, which is not that bad. And it's because at that point, you add a lot of uh, sugar and milk so that you could mask the taste. <laughs> Oh, the power is gone. So what happens is, is that the water hits the dam. And while the dam is a half wall, if the water doesn't spill over, uh, even when the water spills over, internally there's a minor current. When the water goes backwards up the right side, it goes against the water coming down. It's really weird. We're saying cold as the room temp. It's been sitting there for an hour. No, man. It's been there for three hours. Four hours. It is room temperature indeed. And it's not something we want to have. It's gross. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Not really a fan of uh, this kind of stuff. I'm be real. Not the business. Not the business. Alright, so I wanted the second farmhouse so we could keep up with the food. Right, so I'll put it here. Yeah. And then we'll have a couple of random stuff here. We are low on food. All right, so this is rolling. This is rolling 100%, 100%, 100%. So we have power all around. So 120, 200, 150. That's 470. I am providing 471. Dude, I am getting lucky. <laughs> 471 provided out of the 470 demanded. That's efficient. That's efficiency, boys. Alright, so far so good. We have the wood. We got the metal. They're doing the smelting. They're doing the processing. And we have enough to actually start getting some stuffs. Uh, is it warehouse? It is warehouse. Okay, let's build one of these. What are we making, boys? Explosive storage. It's time. We got to put the bomb somewhere. And then we could start terraforming with the bombs. Oh, man. Can't wait. Can't wait. So, I think we will bop this tile. And use one, two, three, four. These four. And then we come straight down. I might want to go out this way, though. So maybe we do one, two, three, four, and then it widens to here, and then it closes off partially and curves out. Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Building lax workers. Uh, what happened? How did I randomly lose three people? Wait, how did I randomly just lose three people? That should have never happened. Oh, the farmhouse. We built this. Now the two people are working here. So we're missing one guy. We're missing one guy. Doesn't look like anyone died. Oh, and then this came up. Okay, that's three people. All right, so that is two builders and then a hauler. All right, so bad water for explosives, explosive storage, and then we're going to grab the tech. Yes, we're ready. Okay. So I think I have two cycles before we get our first bad water season. All right, so we're going to have two planting specialties, and then we're going to have two harvesting specialties. Just to help them out. Just to help them out. Let's go. Now, realistically, I think I should 
uh, do a path here for the farmhouse. But we won't do that yet. Alright, there's no more power for these guys. We gotta let them chill inside. Now we'll pause this. Two days. So the water's running out. We gotta start pumping this. We're gonna turn on all three. Uh, two people. Let's go down here. Alright, try to get people their water. We don't need the berries yet. The kohlrabi is what we need. And we need it desperately. Yeah, we need it desperately. So the food's going down. We're going to be at around 50 people. We have five pods. I think we're going to start uh, stabilizing soon. And once the water runs low here, it is it is getting kind of low. We're going to release some water here. At half, nothing falls down. Add a little bit of water back up to half. Just going to add some water to the bottom. You know how it is. That's the reason why we want this here. This is holding water that we could spill out to the river at any time. That way we survive the drought. Oh, we even spilled some water through the dam. That's my bad. That's my bad. That shouldn't have happened. I wasted water. Alright, last day. We will wait for this out. Building lag workers. Oh, we're missing two people. Oh, three people died of old age and then one guy grew up. Oof. Uh, that's two haulers then. So we have three housing spots. Let's get a new house. Cold coffee. Bad times. Alright, you're gonna have to wait. So far, so good. We have eight explosives. Oh, we actually get this started. Nice. Alright. So we're gonna get the first line. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. The reason why we're choosing the value of four is because of this. The water merges together at this pool, and then it spills out this way. I don't think it's ever self-flooded, and this is only four wide, so we're going to assume that it's going to be okay. So we're going to go with that design, and then once we bop this, we're going to build our walls here. That's going to be the uh, floodgate spot right here. After we get the floodgate, we're going to go all the way around and clear this up. I guess we could put this here first. And then after that, we're going to have to floodgate everything else behind. So we got to wait. We do have explosives, us using it. It's going to be nice. And then we'll start being able to build the stuff we need. Use up all the wood. Let's turn this on again. This is going to be turned on again. And then I think we're going to be all good. All the jobs should be working. Blueberries are stocked. So I think we're okay. Everyone's working. So right now, if we need someone to do another job, we would have to bop the inventor. Because right now, I think our science is okay. Uh, the next thing we would probably want to get is the centrifuge, 600. And then we'd be able to upgrade the bombs to dynamite. Right. That's because to build this, we need something called extract, which is the resource right there. And to get uh, extract, we need to get centrifuge. So, if we do want to level it up, that'd be the route. But we can't do it yet, so I don't know if I'll do it. Nice. Oh, that flooded. That's funny. Uh, floodgate. So now they're just going to build this. Alright, open that up. So now the landscaping is here. And then we do this, that, that. And 
and then we do it like that. Alright, this is because I want the water to come out to here. And then after we do this, we need to open this part up. That will be the last part, I think. Naturally, I think we would want to do this. We do have the plank, so it's not too bad. And then we would do that. We'll demolish this so they have a path still. And then once this is done, we'll bop most of this and then just use this to cross. All right. These are going to be at one height. So we're going to flood ourselves temporarily. Should be fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. So the bad water season, once it starts, it's going to be very dangerous, and we're running low on food already. That's actually kind of scary. So I am going to want to start getting as much food as we can, if we can. This is dead. That sucks. This didn't actually get bad water before. Now it does. Dude, this is a bad time. All right. It's, it's going to be fine. So the food is going down, even with the extra farmhouse. And most of the food is already bopped. We have five people on the way. Ah, oh, man. I think this is the critical point where we have to make sure we actually have enough food. Ah, oh, man. This is tough. Because right now, the bad water season, we know it's coming. And when it happens, it's going to bop all the food. We could try to blueberry up. Oh, that sounds like a horrible strategy. But we have a lot of blueberries. That's the thing. We have a lot of blueberries. Oh, the metal is done. Uh... I think it's really important to survive the bad water seasons. I'm going to go all in on that. So we're going to pause this. This is also going to mean we're not going to need as much power. Smelters, how much? That's a lot, right? 200. Uh, that's basically that wheel. And then this wheel should provide enough for both the gears and the explosives. The man's 270. 314, nice. So 100%, 100%. Good to hear. We don't have gear storage. Oh. We don't have gear storage. All right, we're going to make some storage then, looks like. Gears are... Is that a log pile? No, it's a warehouse. Okay. Medium warehousing. Uh, that's going to be most likely for something with power. I would probably want the gears nearby, though. I wouldn't mind this. Hmm, that doesn't really fit. These two spots... Oh, this doesn't transfer power. <laughs> that sucks. I guess we'll just put the warehouse there, then. Dude, that sucks. It doesn't transfer power. Alright, so this is going to be for gears. That's going to be the second processing. Planks, gears, and then tree to planks, most likely. Ooh, we have four people grow up. Okay. So, looks like we're going to need builders. Because we're doing a big builder job. We're going to need to have these guys. Yeah, we'll make them haul. So, all the water pumps are moving... I guess we could get a berry guy right now. We need water, bad water, for the explosives. We have one guy sharpening his teeth. Wood is really good right now. Um, then again, though, letting them keep up is probably okay. Because he's idle, right? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we pause that. And then we get a guy to be picked up. I guess we could invest in science for now. Alright, so the builders... I might want to go for a builder's hut. Yeah. This stuff, man. We got to do the reroute. 
So it's going to be these three. We're not going to open that. And then it's going to be four behind that. So we keep these solid tiles. And then we move the river to here slightly slowly. Nice. Full height wall. We're getting there. If they give us... So the first bad water season that happens and this becomes bad water, it's going to be one day. That might be in 10 days. That's what I'm worried about right now. Oh, the food's still going down. We are at exactly 50. What happened, man? Oh, you injured. Oh, we have three injured beavers. Okay, we just need more uh, medical beds. Be like that sometimes. So they want more food. More food. They're not going to be eating the berries yet, which is okay. Let's bob a couple of these because we have some injured beavers. Let's go for some blueberries. Oh man, this is tough. Let's prioritize two of the beds because of the injured beavers. That way we'll get more workers ready. Man. This is actually kind of important, I think. Uh, let me halt this one. We're at four. Yeah, we'll stay at four. We'll halt one so that we slow down the growth. And then I need to pick up the calories. The cassava doesn't seem worth it. That's the problem. You need to harvest it, you need to plant it, and then you need to ferment it. Extra step. And then it takes longer to grow and it gives you less units of... Man. It feels like kohlrabi is always better. Three days, you get two turnips. This is five days for one cassava. And then you need two cassava in order to be fermented. That does make ten. So two... And then that equals 10. So you get plus 8. The happiness helps though. That's true. Oh man. That is true. The well-being is pretty nice. We could try to just not have as much scientists. Population balance feels a, feels a little bit harder to manage with the iron teeth. The haulers are really nice. I need the builders for the bombs. And we're running out of kohlrabi. They're doing their best though. They're doing the best out. Ah oh, man. There's like no space for food either. Because what I'm thinking is, is that if I make food here, it would be temporary. Damn, I think I do need the blueberries. This, this is really weird. This goes against like all, <laughs> it goes, it goes against like all logic right now, man. It feels really weird. Uh... Hmm. I guess this works. And then this is blueberry farm. All right. We should at least stockpile the blueberries, man. All right, so now we have the people that were injured. They're no longer injured. No, they are still. Oh, two people grow up then. I personally like building storages vertically. I don't have the verticality yet to be able to do that well it's not that i do have the tech i just don't think it's worthwhile because it's you you'd be investing resources for the infrastructure and i feel like i can't do that yet i feel like we will be able to do that just not yet just not yet
You have stairs? I do. I do. But then I would need to have to build a lot of platforms, and those take planks, right? That's the main thing I'm worried about. That's 12 planks. <laughs> oh, man, the planks, man. It'd be like that sometimes. All right. Step one is in. We got a couple platforms now. Nice. Oh. He can't reach all the way around. Yeah. I mean, in the early game, they do. In the early game, they do. Which I, which I think is the major problem, right? All right. We have that. And then the last set is these four. And then the water should reroute to here. And then it should spill down here. Because we're closer to this edge. Which means the water disappears. And it should it spill like here. Because if it spills here, it still goes down that way. I think this is going to be pretty nice. The bombs are almost ready. We have... Dude, another six days. We'll have it in time. So we are technically safe from the bad water. Uh... Do I do this? I could make a secondary dam right here and grow some food up here. I think that's smart because we have time. <laughs> I think that's smart. Is it actually? I'm not sure. Alright, man, we have idle, idle beavers. We'll make them work. All right, we got to finish this first. Once that's done and we have the explosives, we'll set up the mini dam. And then we'll set up like a like a jank uh, farmer setup. Like we put the farmer's house right here. Make them pass down, path up. <laughs> oh, man. Because if we hold water here and we get to control it with this, this is fresh water always. And then I can actually use that farming space to be able to grow food. It's actually kind of nice. The second thing would be is if I could cross to the other side and plant over here. It's too hilly for me to do that, though. I think that's a great idea. What we... Oh, I should do it here instead and do a double floodgate. Oh, I could do that. It's 250. I like this. All right, so let's put a levy here. And then we want a double floodgate like that. Ooh, that's so nice. If you grew up there, it'd probably be infected. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. That's that's a, that's something I would have to check, Zoo Hybrid. I would want to check that. That would be something I would want to check. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it. All right, so I need to do this and that. And then just so that we could reach. Oh, blueberry storage. Nice. And then they're harvesting the blueberries. The kohlrabi's there. We're around, yeah, we're at 545. That's not bad. I think we're going to balance out at 50. I think that's okay. Oh, we have two free beavers. Uh, we'll make them be inventors then. The power's fine, right? Do I need anything else done right now? The haulers are maxed out. The builders are about done. We have wood. We have water. I wouldn't mind more water, though. That is one thing that's potentially a problem. And then we could start doing, yeah, I would try to do the farm right here. All right, I'm going to preemptively build the farm. Hopefully it's not a bad decision. It does. Okay. They do allow me to do this. You are right, though. The bad water does come out both sides. 
Alright, we'll put that in. It's going to be a jank path, but it needs to be done. This is going to get deleted, though, once we're done. So we have more farmable space. And it's ready. All right, walls are up. Splash. All right, let's do a test run. We lower the water. Where does it go? So that's maximum spread in the worst case scenario. The water doesn't flow back. Okay. All right, so we just drowned ourselves accidentally. Let's add some water again. <laughs> We accidentally drowned ourselves. Okay. So we know that it doesn't do anything too bad on the side. It spills pretty good. Can't complain. If anything, I would want to probably do a layer right here, to be honest. We could do it from the top. So this is going to be kind of nice. All right. We have three beavers now. Haulers are maxed out. Three people not working. Two of those were wheel runners. And then... Hmm. Two of them will actually go to the farmhouse soon. Alright, we'll just make them inventors for now. I guess we could also do the second berry farm. Oh, man. Now we just need the food. Now we just need the food. All right, floodgate height is 1.5. I think that's correct because this is at 0.5. And if this is a one tile low, so 1.5, that's the same height. Oh wait, that means I flood, right? Oh, no, it's too tall. So that means at 0.5. Oh, that means I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. It's two elevation higher. So I'm technically at 0.5, not 1.5, which is technically the same height, but minus one. So that's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be fine. It should be fine. That probably sounded crazy, but it made sense. Trust me, boys. <laughs> that somehow made sense. Dude, honestly, I thought you could incrementally do it at, like, 10% intervals. I was hoping for that. That'd be kind of nice if you could do, like, smaller intervals. It'd probably be more susceptible to flooding, though. I could see why they kept it at 50. That way, it's either half up or full up. And then, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Three open jobs. All right. That's you, that's you. And that's one of them's cuz... Oh, that's a farmhouse. Oh, and then we have their babies growing up. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Alright, 45, 5, 10. It looks like we're maintaining this ratio, which is not too bad. One free beaver. We'll have a go up that one. Waiting for the explosives. This is not bad. Oh, the moment we started doing explosives factory, we started getting injured beavers. These guys, man. They gotta be better. Alright, the blueberries are maxed out. So, if anything, we have food. I need to hurry this up so we can start growing some cassava over here. We have the planks. They got it. I imagine you would need medicine soon, too. Uh, medicine in this game is only if you have... Oh, I did get hurt the other day. Wait, how do you make medicine? As these... Oh! Medicine is different for these guys. That's right. I forgot medicine is different for these guys. Ah, that's right. All right, so it's a decontamination pod, huh? And it's extract. Okay, so this is pointless because I don't have extract. 
Which means I really do want Centrifuge at 600. Okay. I thought it was Dandelions. Because that's what the folk tells do. They have herbal remedies. And as a result, you need to have Dandelions. Nice. Alright, so the water level evens up to the top right here. That means we hold more water up top. That's actually healthier for the area. Oh no, that's a flood. That's a temporary flood though. Yeah, we good, we good. Nice. Alright, so now we are going to be setting this up. Now we're going to leave it like that. We'll keep the other stuff there because it doesn't really matter. And then we will hit them with the cassava. And we're playing on the bottom as well. Is this the Hanging Gardens? Technically. We got a farm on the hill. Oh, this is not even bad water season. It's just a regular drought. No, man, we're prepared. We're extra prepared today. Not even bad. Alright, so that means we're going to start needing population to cook. And then... I am also thinking about shrinking the berry farm and increasing the size of the turnip farm. Maybe I was supposed to convert this entire area to turnips and the berries wanted to be on this side. That would make a lot of sense. That would actually make a lot of sense. We could still do that. It's probably not worth it right now, though. Alright, we have one guy that needs to have its job filled. And then we're going to wait for the... Oh, these guys are here. Nice. Alright, so there are these bushes that we could replace. I am just curious now to see uh, which one's going to be better. I could probably put a staircase here. And have it be a lot better, to be honest. I mean, they do have reach, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, so this guy is still paused, and we're topped off on wood, so that's probably okay. Power is good. We don't need the second wheel maker. Explosive is about to top off. And, oh, this is ready. Nice. So this is going to spill down so that it doesn't spill to the left when it comes out this way. And then it immediately spills down again. So we get less spread by having that uh, controlled spill. Ideally, I would want to bomb these two. And then it would be uh, probably this layer. So that it doesn't spill out along the edge. It's pretty good, though. It's going great. Uh, getting the trees here is going to be next. So the reason why I'm doing this is because if I don't do this, these trees are going to die the moment the bad water season occurs. So, yeah. That way, uh, we get some seedlings still. <laughs> Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is start molding this area. Because our final goal is going to need to be blocking off the water here. And then rerouting the water on this side down this way. That's going to be our long-term goal. A lot of the times. And we want to reroute the water down this way and spill down here. Go into here. We get a split river. This goes off the map. This holds the water right here. If it's too much, it feeds out that way. So I am on this height. I wish there was height levels. That doesn't work. Hmm. All right, so this height is this height. That height is this height. And then... This height is this height. Which means that works. 
Yeah, that works. So the water could get up to here, and then it spills down. So we would fill that up. So we would need a wall on this side so it doesn't spill out that way. And then once we get to here, this is blocked off. We actually keep this. Can you path on this? Oh, you can't? Oh, what a travesty. I guess that's because it's natural tiles. That's fine. Uh, we might actually utilize that later on eventually. Maybe wall off over here. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think we, we were going to use that path. So we're going to need a four tile floodgate system on this side as well. And then we do have tile spacing here. Okay, so we're going to need to change how this works, right? Uh, scrap metal, one, two, one, two, three, four. So this is actually the path, like naturally. So if that is the case, and I want to reroute it. It should be like this. And then we go out this way. We're going to reroute that. And then we know we're going to be bopping a lot of this too. Oh. This is kind of where the, ex the bridge makes sense here. Because we're not going to have ground support. Maybe we bop that and go this way instead. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, to be honest. Let's cancel everything here. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it's different height. That's fine. So, one, two, three, four. Right? So, it's technically here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. And we go like that. And we would bought most of this. Alright, once this is built, we could start setting up the uh, terraforming on this side. And we'll set up the floodgates at the bottom as well. This is probably going to require me to have the extract. So let's get the centrifuge. Alright, centrifuge is power hungry. Ooh. Oh, that would have been perfect here. Aw, oh, damn. I guess I could still put it here. Uh, Alright, we're going to bop the gear storage. It's fine. The gears are going to be there. I think we do put the centrifuge here still. Oh, there's no power here. That's not good. There's no power here. Did I miss anything? Uh, We had the magic power wheel. We were one day into the drought, and there was no water coming down for a full day, and I was still getting power. That was the weirdest thing. And then I figured out that the water in a closed pool is circulating. I realized that because of my first playthrough, where the circulating water stopped my water wheel while the water was running. Circular motion in this game is jank, man. That's all I gotta say. Classic circular motion. Uh, technically, I could bop that and grab power. No. Yeah, I think I do need the centrifuge right here. That sucks. Damn it. I didn't want this here. Alright, it is what it is. That means, yeah, the storage there was actually fine. Um... I will need to get a warehouse for the gears then. All right, let's just put that there. We're going to be moving the houses anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. Builders, everything is good. Food problems right now, though. Classic problem. All right, gatherers are going to be paused. Because they're not doing anything anyways. Oh, and the farmers are waiting for the uh, cassava to grow. Okay. 
So once we have cassava, oh, we're gonna need a warehouse for that. Classic storage. Um, we're going to need to get them food, right? So that's likely to happen, right? And then put another storage here. This is gonna be gears. This is going to be cassava fermented. And then let's get another one for the cooked food. Of course, this is temporary storage, classic stuff. Where is it? There it is. All right, so this is likely never going to be enough. We will want to grow some more food. We need space for that. I want to see how the bad water bops this, but I think that makes sense. Uh, can we grow? No. All right, let's bop this. If we do lose a little bit, it's fine. So we want to mark this for demolition. The berries, not that big of a deal, if I have to be honest. Oh, this is ready? Almost ready. Alright. No bad water yet, but we're really prepared. Last time, I couldn't get this set up before the first bad water started. Now, it's not even the first bad water yet, and we're ready. So, that means we're going to get started with the rerouting. Oh, this is nice. Uh, that means we're going to do this. Splash. I should be able to pick up everything with the pathing right here. Oh, except for this one. That's going to be fun. Alright, so we should be able to pick up this and that from this tile. No battery so far. No man. Cycle 5. I think we get on a cycle 6. Plants up cassava. Let's go. I guess we could also bop the berry farm. And move the gather flag up top. And then we just get more uh, crops right here. <laughs> the things you do for extra planting space, man. The things you do for extra planting space. Alright, six day drought. Uh, we need to pause the pumps. I'm probably going to need more water pumps as well. That's going to be fun to do. Alright, so the explosives are up. And I I think we are potentially going to be ready. So let's do the flood wall. Is the first thing we're going to do. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So it's these two. And then it's going to be these two. And then we're going to have that also opened up so we can start the floodgates. That way the water gets rerouted. And then we're going to do the top layer. And then we're going to do the bottom layer. And then we should have a hole right there to fill up with the new buildings so this is one two three four okay so that means i will want to carve this open so one two three four one two three four five one two three four one two three four five four four that's four and then we have four like that yeah, that's going to be the route we have to set up. And then we have to go path to there. Hopefully that works. What? No way, G. That's kind of wild. That's actually really wild. G, if you do do that, I might have... Dude, that would be amazing. I would probably have to wait till Black Friday to finish the build. But that would set me up to have a two PC setup. Which would mean I wouldn't lag as much. I could be rendering and on the PC at the same time. Dude, that's actually amazing. Yo, G, also, I wanted to ask, man. Uh, do you remember last time you said you had a video game that potentially you wanted me to check out? Do you know what, what game that was? I was hoping you would DM me with the game title. 
But now I'm curious, man. What, what, what game is it that you're actually having your eye on? Let me know. Pumping the River 2 is worth than 1. See stats. Pumping River 2 is worth it than River 1. I see what you're saying. Moving the water pumps up top, I think is what you're saying. So that we pump the water from here. And then we keep the water for the crops at the bottom. The thing with that is, is that um, eventually this is going to become toxic water. And then I won't get any water at all. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. It's, it's going to be like a temporary thing. Nice. So we need the four like that. There we go. Two free beavers. Let's open this up. Yeah. It's going really, really low. Once we have cassava, though. <gasps> it's about to be ready. Aw, snap. All right, that means we're going to pop one of these guys for this guy. This is going to be fermented cassava. Bella Troll? Bella Troll? Bella Troll. That's got to be an autocorrect, right? I've never heard of Bella Troll. Bella Troll? Is that, is that a typo? <laughs> that's, that's a different game. No, the building itself. Less force, more water. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I don't have that. So, you're talking about a different class. I am the Iron Teeth. This is the second class. They don't have an advanced version. So, this one is a regular pump for regular water. This one is a regular pump for the toxic water. So in order for me to pump up the toxic water, we have a separate building. This is a fluid dump. So this is like oxygen unoccluded bottle emptier. It doesn't actually pump water. This is a ruler. It just shows you how deep the water is. This is a powered pump that pulls water and dumps it on the other side. But yeah, we don't have a way to pump water faster. That's the folktales. The folktales have a large pump that could have three beavers inside getting water at the same time. We don't have that. That's a different class. That's the uh, first one you have, the folktales. I think that's what you're talking about, right, Man Life? Talking about getting the uh, stronger version of this? Yeah, this is the strongest. This is just because we're playing Iron Teeth and like that. Oh, that's the card game. The Bal Balatro. Balatoro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen some people play that. I'm not sure how that game works i just see people playing it and i'm like that's pretty cool nothing wrong about it though yeah be mine i guess yeah yeah, yeah. what's that yeah, yeah 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 so we just can't do it we have to live with the weak pumps man on this playthrough i see what you're saying g hey yeah, i wouldn't mind checking that out it seems pretty fun just for that, no, yeah, it's, it seems pretty fun. It seems like a very casual, friendly pick up and play game. It'd be great for any game day, because it's it's everyone understands poker, right? That way, it's easier to understand the game. I could see that. That's actually that'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind checking that out. All right, all right. He's idle, so I guess we will pause this guy. We don't need berries anymore. Ah, uh, fermented cassava. Let's go. Gonna have the good foods. What's going on, Rage Spawn? I see you over there. Welcome in. Hello, hello. How are you? How you doings today? How is... Oh, we got the level six. How was the days? How is the Mondays? Hope you're starting off the week right. Hoping you're starting off the week strong. Oh, we got it, boys. Splash. All right, so we got our first set of trimming down the area. This one still needs to be worked on, but it's going pretty good. And then we need to demolish some of the pathing. Uh, we'll do this. All right. So we see the path, right, that we're carving out. So it's going to be 
This is a two and that's a three. I guess we could carve these out still. That wouldn't be too bad. Because then these would be level ones and then I could get the extract later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this would be landscape and we want to do that. <laughs> All right. Perfectly safe, right? Perfectly safe. And then we are going to need the regular floodgates here. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, what else do we need? 2.8. Everything's going fine. Are we centrifuging? Oh, we don't have... Oh, I paused them. Okay, that means I need to do this. Which means I am going to need to bop these guys. Yeah, all right. That's a little bit tough. Oh, we have two woodcutters now. Oh, we don't need this guy then. I just realized that. Yeah, that frees up one guy. Because I built the second one because we couldn't reach some of the deep oak trees. We'll put one guy back. All right, so now on the science side, we have the centrifuge. That means we get extract, and then we need to make a storage for extract. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to just use small bins here. And this is going to be for the beaker, the extract right there. So the extract's going to be needed because we're going to want something to fight bad water. Because I think I accidentally flooded myself with bad water here because of the dam. And then some of my beavers got hurt. I was kind of sad about that. But it shouldn't happen too often. Uh, 400 science. We'll get there eventually. We're right there. 370. So we need extract for that. And with the extract, we are going to be able to uh, cook up some good antidotes. This is scientific. Scientifically proven. No uh, herbal remedies or anything like that. Yeah, we're balanced out at 50. This is really impressive. So it looks like these pods effectively have a balance of 10 beavers each. Yeah, I'm at 41.6. And now we're at 4 active because I'm not growing this guy anymore. And our pop and our food production is somewhat stabilized now. So I think once we get cassava, we'll be fine. That means I think we can't thrive yet. I think that's what that means. We can't thrive until we reroute the water. Oh, that sounds kind of scary. Not being able to thrive. So we do have the builders on priority here. Um, just because we're doing a lot of terraforming right now, it's going to be rather important. Oh, and this is ready. Let's go. Time for some splash. Uh, there might be some things here I might want to reroute. Oh, no way, G. Ah, I didn't get the pop-up yet. I didn't get the pop-up yet. I'll let you know, G, once I get the pop-up. But yo, man, shout out to you. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll have to see when I'll have to do it. Oh, I forgot to pump water. Oh, no, that's a modifier. Oh, I need everyone working now. Okay. So we pause that, pause this. And then we pause that. Oh, we're out of water. Beavers without water, they're thirsty. All right, up, down, up, down. I want to say this is fine. Yeah, I want to say this is fine. All right, we have a lot of scrap metal. So I am going to pause this. And then the second reasoning is because I need to kind of change how this works. Oh, why are you going? Oh, you're grabbing the stuff. Uh, Yeah, I have to let him do that then. Wait, no, technically they don't need to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are doing this and that. And then we need to do this. And then these two. I need to put a new stair. Oh, I can't. 
So I need to do this then. This is on max priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do that. Unconnected building, that's fine. This is going to be okay. Free beaver. Okay. He is going to haul. No, we need the science guy. We, we technically have the pod. All right, so we're on no water again. Oof. Oh, it's because we're no water here. Uh, the drought's about to end. Okay, we'll push this down just to re uh, get some water faster. Once the water comes down, we'll raise this back up. All right, we have water. You can start pumping that. Get some agua. No man, spill on this side. There it is. All right, push this up 1.5. Oh, fast flood. That was not too bad. Come on, just drain. Oh, flood on the side, my bad. There we go, we're all good. All right, it's rebalanced. We have water, everything should be okay. Yeah, all the breeding pods have been halted. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. You really do. Okay, one guy freed up. Alright. Still negative. This is not good. Uh, This might mean that I might just need another water pump. Yeah, that might just mean that. We might just need a second water pump. Okay, so that would want this setup. And then we would want that. Nice, that's everything there. They're technically not Threadrippers. It's a crippled Epic Milan, but they have been uh, modded to run Threadripper motherboards. Other going to scrap them and end the project, people are claiming them. Oh, yo man, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I, I, could, I wouldn't mind using that as a, you know, streaming PC. Like, realistically, it doesn't really matter. As long as it runs. <laughs> like, I don't know if that makes sense. It's like, do you, Serene PC doesn't have to be amazing. LOG! Nice. Uh, hey, I'm pulling my hairs off of Oni. I'm trying to build your spawn. You did with the brine. 50-50 challenge. But I don't find a solution for heating my brine before the salinator. It comes out minus 10, and then by the time, it's minus 7. So it's breaking. Any idea would be appreciated. Nice. Uh, so there's a couple things you could do. First thing is, is you could try to feed the spawn with a secondary water source and then run a priority line with the brine water by running that over the spawn first. I don't know if that makes sense. So the idea is you have your spawn, right? It's inside this box, right? The box is going to have a lot of heat. So you want to feed that with a secondary source, uh, another water source of warm water. Now that's going to cause heat. You could run your brine over that so that it's positive. So you could choose a value for that. It could be above zero. You could also put it to 30 or 20 degrees. It's up to you how hot you want that water to be. After that, you could filter it right, with the desalinator and then feed it back in. That would be the strategy. Now, of course, yeah, the heat from the spawn heats it. Yeah. Now, of course, that means you need a secondary source of water, though. Because by doing that, your cold water brine is supplementary. It's never going to be enough to keep it running nonstop. That's what that really means. So if you do have a secondary source, it'd be nice. Or if you have an area that's hot or warm enough, you could try to cool that area instead as well. But yeah, you could try to do uh, some designs with the spawn creating heat itself. In the worst case scenario, you could build something called the liquid tepidizer, which is the machine that you would submerge in water and it would heat it up really fast. That would be last resort, just because you have to spend power in order to heat it up. Nobody would want to do that, right? Realistically, you don't want to spend power to create power. 
I mean, you don't want to spend power to uh, heat something up. Usually heat something you want to cool down anyway, so. Uh, those are your options, man. Hope that helps. Let me know if you're running into any more problems. I got you. But hey, man. Hope you're having a good times with the Onis. Yeah, you see this? My water has never recovered. My water has never recovered. Aw, oh, snap. Yeah, we need that extra pump, dude. Our population didn't even grow. It was because of the negative modifier from uh, thirsty well-being. That's literally the reason why. Because they're thirsty, they're having a modifier on the beavers themselves. Hmm. Working speed, movement speed. Look at that. Oh, mine is 50. That's when it's bad. Oh, man. That's what I'm worried about. So we get the new pump. We have to bop this guy. Uh, this is here. Alright, so that's fine. Alright, so now we do this. So that we could go back here and start uh, doing stuff here. And then this is going to be uh, more explosive work that we're going to have to set up. So we're going to put the stair here, and then I need a tile here to path out here. But I still want to be able to reach the scrapyard. Alright. Extra pump. Is that good enough? We just need to be positive. Alright, two digits. And then when the people basic needs are met... They work faster. Dude. <laughs> Not like this. Are we actually okay? Alright, looks like... We have to make them work a little longer. That might be a solution. We just need to generate a little bit more water so everyone is satisfied. And then we have some form of water. For the Nope, we're out of water again. God damn it. Oh, man. They get rid of district limits. Yes, they did. That was something that only happened at the beginning of the game. I got confused by that as well. <laughs> that used to be a thing, not anymore. And I think it's because people complained about it. Alright, we have three sites not being filled. One, uh, two, three. It, it was the biggest pain it was. It was a bad time. It was a bad time. I remember that, man. Dude, we can't walk this far. This sucks. <laughs> I remember saying that all the time. And you can't walk that far at all, man. Alright, five. There's only two haulers now. That's so bad. Where is everyone working? I guess we could turn off the explosives for a minute. No, I could keep that running. Uh, we have a lot of bad water. We'll pause. The centrifuge isn't made yet. That's because we're waiting on the metal. That means 472 out of 520. Oh, I'm missing people right now. Hey, what the heck is this? Oh, people need to uh, meet their meet their needs. That's why. Oh, two digits. Please just stay positive. That's all we need right now. Dude, that's so scary, man. Running out of water and then having to rebound from that seems so devastating. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> it's so devastating just to recover from lack of water. And we're out. Oh, dude. There's still a couple people complaining about not having water. Hopefully, we're on the mend. And this means we'll be fine. Alright, did they do... They didn't do that. Okay. 
They still need to do the planks there, I guess. Oh, they moved some of the planks. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, they moved some of the planks back. Nice. Oh, they can't reach that? That's fine. We'll get that soon. All right. We see you guys over there. Going on, Ace Billaboy Hero. Hello, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today, Mr. Ace Billaboy? Oh, we will pause the centrifuge. I do need this, though. Dang, yeah, I do. All right, so we're generating enough power. This is fine. All right, we could do three here. Seven? No way. We, we rebound it. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We survived the drought. Oh, that was such a bad time. Okay, so now we're going to get a secondary water storage. <laughs> because we learned our lessons. And it was indeed a bad time. Uh, where can we put the water storage this time? Hey, Ace Miller Boy Hero coming in with the 46 months. On that 46 month streak, dude, man. That's three years, 10 months. This guy's about to hit the four year mark. What a legend. I've only been streaming five years. This guy was here from the beginning. Yeah, you remember Ace Bell Boy Hero, man. This guy, man. He used to be a surfer. That's why his name is called Ace Bill Boy Hero. He used to surf all of California. And he was known as the Big Kahunga. I don't know what that means. He told me it's Hawaiian. And it means one that conquers the waves. I'm just nodding along and telling me these stories. But I believe him. So yo man gotta put some respect on his name. The homie. Ace Bill Boy Hero. I see you over there man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I see you over there, man. Right, I'm gonna put that there. I'm good, thank you. How are you? That was a secret. My bad, my bad. I exposed them, y'all. If you guys go to Venice Beach and yell out a spillable hero, you get an autograph. He still he still walks the beaches. He talks about getting a nice tan. This guy is dark as hell. I'm like, yo man, you extra tanned? Why are you still getting another tan? He's like, your tan needs a tan sometimes. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that, though, sometimes. All right, so we're going to have extra water storage. That way we uh, survive the drought. Hopefully we'll be positive, positive. Uh, one space vacancy. Deep water pump. Uh, one of my water pumps is not active. No. This one shouldn't be on. Wait, who's who's vacant? Explosives factory. Oh, dude, the guy making explosives got hurt. Oh, damn. What a travesty. All right, man, we could pause this for now. It, it'd be like that sometimes. Dude, man, watch out when you make explosives, man. Not a good time. Got the dirty water sorted. Not yet, not yet. Well, in theory, it's sorted, but, you know, we haven't tested it yet, so we don't really know. So we want to say that it works, <laughs> but we don't actually know if it does. All right, so now we want to do here and then those four. Right, because then I want the angle to be a little bit better for the feed-in. That way it's not too... I guess we could do that as well, because this is solid. Get a better feed and angle. I guess I would want this well. Just so everything flows a little bit better. And then once we get that, we technically have this that we would have to do as well. And then this side would be level threes. And then once we get to here, though, it's a little different. That's going to be big meme, though, this pocket. And after we do that, I think we'll be fine. All right, a lot of explosives need to be made still. We got to do the reroute. We're somewhat balanced around the uh, 50 pot mark. All right, we have a free beaver. I don't think we need the beaver to do much right now. We'll make them um, do science. Four haulers might be okay. 
So farmers for food. We have a guy cooking. We have a guy doing centrifuge. All right, we have a little bit of extract. So the extract's gonna be needed because we're gonna need a tech up for dynamite level three dynamite. Two extracts. Of course, this is 1.2k science, so we're gonna need to crank up the inventors we need. Oh, someone got hurt again. All right, man, you could go take over the job. So we need water. I could argue we don't need to chop wood. The problem is, is that this is really healthy wood. And I want to try to get as many saplings as I can. So we want to chop everything, let the saplings grow, and then come back. Because if the bad water comes by, I think all those trees are dead. So I should try to get as many growing as we can. So what is this? 550 out of 570. We're actually not giving enough power. Okay. Wheel power. We're making metal. Metal's gonna run out soon. And then it needs power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will keep making the metal, but once the storage is full, we're gonna pause it. Mr. Uglar Visk, I see you over there. Yo, man. You hear me, Mr. Uglar Visk? How did you like the pizza that one day? How did you like your pizza? I gotta ask, man. How was the the chopped tomatoes, basil, and uh, bacon? Oh, legit, how's your car? Uh, I'm taking it to the shop on Wednesday. Uh, I can't drive it anymore, I don't think. Unless uh, the guy fixes it. But yeah, it's not a good time right now. <laughs> Vigo's not, uh, not, not doing so good. Are right, gonna get these three? Oh, no, so uh, it happened. So I found out something happened to my car. I think it was last week. My mechanic isn't actually open on the weekends. What he does is um, if he has like a long project, he'll take the cars in and then he'll work on it on the weekend. So he doesn't have uh, walk-ins, if that makes sense. So you can't just walk in with your car and be like, hey, man, can I get oil change? Yeah, that's going to have to wait till next week. <laughs> so I'll have to go back during the weekday. And then hopefully I could get it done same day. Now, I looked it up. The type of problem I have has to do with my hybrid battery. I have a Chevy Malibu hybrid. So, yeah. Hopefully it's not something that has to do with replacing it. Because if it is, um, they actually don't do that anymore for that car model. So I'd be kind of screwed. So I'm hoping it's just something minor. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be going on Wednesday. So Sunday, I told you guys, I wasn't going to be going today. We're going to be going on Wednesday. That's going to be my day off anyway. So on my day off, we're just going to be, uh, you know, wake up 8 a.m., try to get there as soon as he opens and uh, be the first one there. I got to hope, man. There's something open nearby to get coffee. But yeah, we're going to be doing that in a couple days. Cross your fingers, man. Pray for me, chat, that nothing bad's going to happen. All right. Day nine, water's at 360. Everything's going pretty good. All right, we're going to close this off because that's the majority of the power sink. And then while the metal is nice to have, I don't think we need a lot right now. Unless the... Yes, five metal. We have that. Okay, this is not bad. So if we do get sick, we have this. Um, we're going to not spend it, though, because we're going to want the advanced dynamite. Yep, yep. Abductor, man. Dude, did you just wake up? <laughs> or are you still awake? Yo, man, I got to ask, because when it comes to you, I don't know. <laughs> you could have went to sleep and woken up already, and you could have also just be still awake. Okay, still awake. Gotcha, gotcha, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Shouldn't be... Yo, man. That's my bad. My bad. 
Mom was too cute. I get it, man. You gotta watch for the moment that the little baby moves. It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, so I have no builders right now, right? Uh, so there's one thing about this game. is micromanaging your population threshold. So this is your builder side. If you're not building anything, you technically should push this down to one. So you have free population, right? There's technically nothing that I'm building right now. Uh, until we get the science, I can't really utilize uh, anything else anyways, right? We would have to uh, just wait. So pop this down to three and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do that. All right. So this is going to allow water through. And then we need to set up this area now, next, in order for us to do uh, the advanced stuff. I guess we could try to set up the bottom side right here then, as a result. So we want to do one, two. So both of these spots we're going to have to do. All right. So technically, we should just follow this. And then we need to bop both of these levels. So, we go like that. Oh, crap. Wow, that's tough. Uh... Hmm. 4-4. Four, four. I guess we knock these off. And then it's we have to knock part of this off. So landscaping. So these are technically threes. And I gotta do this, that. And then since this is the same, I wanna do that. Yeah. There is this. And then hopefully I'll be able to reach most of this. Uh, I think this has to not be there. Just so that I could try to reach the top. Yeah. All right. We're going to do it like that. And then this is going to require level 3 dynamite. Alright, we have four free beavers from the builder side. Now we have time before we actually do the other stuff. So let's get a second builder. Alright, three inventors, science. They're going to work on moving the explosives up. Uh, we only have 11. And we have to build the stairs and all that too. Is the guy still... Oh, he's not making this anymore. I mean, he's not injured. All right, we're going to have to turn this back on. And we would pause four haulers. Yeah, we'll, we'll pause one inventor then. All right, yeah, it should be fine. Bad water. Oh, we need to turn this on because no one's doing bad water pumps. Oh, now we need the guy. Okay. Yeah, everything is balanced. Uh, Looks like I should turn this back on. Because the population is dropping to 40. I want to be around 50, ideally. And look at that. The kohlrabi is stacking up and hitting the ceiling. Almost 600 of this. This is nice. Population imbalance, man. It's so, like, specific. I wonder at any point, are we going to figure out, like, how much food we need per beaver? Like, is there a calorie guide that we can look at? Something like that? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But for the most part, no matter. We'll get there, we'll get there. How much is power consumption? 550 out of 520, it's pretty good. Productivity is... Okay, it's fine. The game does have its charm that it doesn't give you clear calculation numbers and you have to guesstimate it. That is true. But that's also like... That could drive you insane, man. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could drive you insane. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm sitting here with the factorial calculator. That's the thing. Like, some people, they like that, right? They like being able to calculate and make a spreadsheet. 
Sometimes having values and numbers tied to it make it make sense. And I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 just like you say it. I could see people who play Factorial that never want to touch this game because of that. Like, how do you know if you're doing enough? It's like, oh, if the beavers are happy, then you're good. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, man. It's like, I have to hope that the beavers are happy. All right, man. Whatever you say. You gotta hope the beavers are happy. Whatever that might be. All right, are we gonna get our first bad water season? That's what I'm wondering. All right, so we are doing this. We're gonna start planning here because it should be fine. Um, maybe we should start growing cassava here. Well, we know we're gonna need more cassava, hundred percent of the time. This is never going to be enough. I want to see how bad the red water, though, bops me. That's what I'm curious about. What I mean when I say that is, is that, um, you know, the cracked earth right here from the red water should kill the plants. But then it's like, I have water here. There it is. There's the bad tide. All right. This is going to be a one day bad tide. This is going to help us out. Oh, I was able to reach this? Kind of impressed. Oh, we could just walk here. I didn't think we'd be able to reach that. That's impressive. Oh, they're going to start doing that. Okay. We have one beaver. Job needs opened. All right, so extract 32. Yeah, we could continue that. Still making explosives. Can't complain. Water's at 500. Dude, we're doing great. Still need to top them off, though. Still need to top them off. And we have a free beaver. All right, hopefully... Oh, we're going to get a group of babies. Nice. Yeah, so the berries are fine. I wouldn't mind having someone cut some berries real fast. If this survives the bad water season, I'm going to grow cassava here. I will. I would probably also move the farm to here and grow cassava on this plot. Realistically, that makes a lot of sense. Or move it to here. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But we want to see how the bad water affects this area. Another thing we're going to have to do is make sure the uh, beavers don't go down this way. Because they're going to go into the bad water. It's going to be a bad time. So we'll keep this paused. We don't need the scrap metal. We have a lot still. 147. We're not really processing metal either. And then laying down the dynamite. New beaver. New inventor. We are... Oh, we were out of bad water. Four bad water, 10% of a log, and you get an extract. Okay. Hmm. We're at 43. We're pretty stocked on the extract right now. We could try to pause this and free up a worker. We're providing enough power, though, so it's good. And we're really low on bad water. Uh, I probably do want to stop doing this. Just because we're not keeping up with the bad water population. Alright, we're almost there, boys. Almost ready. This is at 1.5. All right, so we actually have until we get the pop-up that the uh, day started to swap the water on the gates, so we should be okay. All right, all right. All right, he delivers, he runs back. He delivers, he runs back. And 
I am going to bop this tile. Yes, nice. You can always smash spacebar the moment it starts anyway. True. So we bop that tile so that we don't go do the jobs over here anymore. And then this is at one. This is at five. Okay. So now this is... Uh, half. I want to raise four. Blood. Four. And then four drain. There we go. All right. So four, oh, a full close, full close, full drain. There is the flow of water. It shouldn't spread. Alright, now the thing is, is that how is the bad water going to kill the plants? Drying, okay? Starting to bop the plants. Oh, is this spreading? No, it is not. Okay, cool. So this drying dies in eight days. Is my cassava drying? Nope. I have a pool of healthy water right here. That's why. I think what's happening is the red water is pushing this way. And some clean water or contaminated water right here is getting caught in the corner. I think that's what's happening. Because if it's purely red contaminated water, you would get the cracks in the ground. This means that this is mixed water. Which means some of the clean water is still here. This is pure bad water, right? And that's what's flowing out. There is some things we could do by rerouting uh, some of the water here. Like, we could make a path so that it goes directly into the river. And don't have the chance of spilling on the sun. Alright, that looks really good. All right, we're going to have to bop these plants so that we could grow some uh, cassava <laughs> up top. Oh, this is dead. Uh, no, they, they cycle through it. They cycle through. So they'll have some drought seasons and then some bad water seasons. Because technically during bad water, you still get power from the wheel, right? The water wheel. Which is technically upside if all you need is power, right? Oh, this all dried up. What the heck is... Oh, I pumped up all the water. Oh, I am not smart. I pumped up all the water. That's why. Okay. Uh, let's lower this to 1.5. <laughs> pumped up all the water, man. Oh, not enough. Let's go down to 1. All right, let's go back up to 1.5. We just need a little bit of water for the crops to grow. Looks like we might need a little bit more. Keep everything growing. All right, and it's going to be done. Okay, so I do want to move the farmhouse here. Okay. So I guess good news, bad news? We could put some floodgates, like right here or something. Oh, you know what we could do? And that would kind of work. We would want to use explosives to connect this tile and this tile so that once it spills out to here, it goes down a level and then move the water down this way with more explosives. So we make a steeper drop and then we make this a double floodgate. That way, if we want to, we could drain everything out here. But when we don't want to, we just wall it up, and then the clean water comes back here anyways. 
Maybe that's the play. It seems like contamination is very short. Yeah, it's fairly short. I guess it's because it's mixed water, though. Because you could see on this side, this is kind of far. It's kind of like the fertile land for with the regular water effect. But once you mix the water, the effect gets weakened. Alright, so there's there's dirty water right here we need to fix. Yo man, this dirty water dude. I guess we just have to let it go. Oh, we don't go in the water here. Ah. That is true. So since I never go into the water, it's never really a big deal. Okay, let's put this at half. Let's put this at 1.5. Let's put this at 1. So it's a little bit of bad water, but since it's... Oh, a little bit of flood, it's fine. Not bad, not bad. No one is actually sick from the poison. Good stuff. But would you trap the dirty water? Uh, No, because eventually it will just wash out. Just kind of like what we did right now. We can force the water to drain eventually. It does get caught slightly, but it's temporary. I think it's fine. I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong. I think it's fine. Alright, so we have this here. We're going to want to bop this. And then we got to do those guys. And then we have two people inventing that shouldn't be. All right, uh, the builders need access again. So that's going to be this side. So that's that. Oh, our population went down. Ooh, population went down. That's not nice. We need the builders still. Bad water is very healthy right now. I guess we could pause this guy. And then, yeah, our population is going down slightly. So, good thing we turn on the breeding pots, because we need to pick this back up. And then, once we have that, we're going to want to plant the cassava here. Nice. And then, we're going to need to demolish resources here. Uh, we'll do this much at the very least. Oh, we could do all of the upper space. Because I'm thinking if we could hold clean water here, we could grow this entire area, at least up to the half point. And that would be pretty lucrative, I think. Alright, now that this connects, it could work back to the other side. Berries. We have 800 turnips, so let's go. Alright, back to six babies. And we need to keep the hauling strong. Uh, maybe we could turn off one of the water pumps. Because we are very healthy with this right now. That guy could swap. One guy grew up. He could do that. And then explosives are on. We need to keep that rolling. Alright, working on the stairs. Working on explosives on this side. Can't complain. Try to get this one. If we can, it's going to be nice. Oh, we don't. We could just cancel this. Oh, and I could just do this. Oh, and then immediately we don't even need a staircase anymore. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we also want to keep doing this, though. We got to get all the explosive here leveled out. So, one, two, three, four. Technically, it's here. I need to line it up, too. And then after that, it should be good. Operation reroute the mountain. Yo, man. All I gotta say is, I don't know if this is safe, man. Rerouting the water, it's probably bad for the ecosystem. They don't think it'd be like it is, though, but it do. Alright, we're almost at the 1200 mark. Uh, the extracts, we're probably gonna need to turn this back on again soon. But yeah, we need to get the tier 3 Dynamite. 1,200. We're almost at 1,000. 
blueberries. Oh, all the cassava is gone. At least they're eating it. Nice. We got that. Uh, technically, I could do like a couple tiles here, right? Because I should still be able to reach. Yeah, I think if we're out of reach, it actually has a text box that says too far from the district. So I think we're going to be okay with that. So far, four inventors, 1k science. Getting some fermented cassavas. Isn't fermenting also a long process? How are we making that in the same day? You know what I'm saying? Isn't this fermenting a long-term process? Something feels off, man. It just tastes fermented. It, has, it isn't actually. That'd be actually kind of gross. Beavers are clever. <laughs> Do beavers even have taste buds? Do they taste the same things that we do? Do they know what sweet tastes like? I'm not sure if it's worth blowing up this water channel before having a reservoir. No, that water channel is the reservoir. <laughs> so, so let's go through the plan. Oh, do you put bad water above reservoir in priority? No, so what happened was that the first time we played this, we lost because of the bad water season. So I think after that bad water season that happened, we should get one season of drought, and then it's going to be long periods of bad water seasons instead of just one day. During those long periods of bad water, dude, I got bopped, and we lost because of food. I thought you were digging it to get rid of bad water. No, 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 I am. So this is the first step to get rid of the bad water. We didn't have this last time, and then as a result, we lost because of the food imbalance. So we have this now already. So this is to get rid of the bad water. What we're doing now is we're making a reservoir. So once we blow this up, the water reroutes this way. And then it actually fills up the river and feeds out here. It also goes out this way, small lake, and then it actually goes above this and goes down here. So I would get water effectively around these two water uh, islands, I guess, right? And then we're going to wall this part up. So we hold water this way, and they'll probably get pretty deep. And then we're going to try to wall up this side. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how that's going to work, but we're going to try. We might do something jank and try to do a levy strat here. So we're going to live on this platform, the purple. I might just put levees here, double stack them, and then hold water along the coastline. <laughs> that way we'll have uh, a lot of water around this island source. And because we're going to be able to use a floodgate system, we get to control that to be clean water all the time. So effectively, that would be our water reservoir, holding all the water around us. And then even with that, we could try to do some supplemental stuff. Like, this is going to be very deep. We could also just wall this up indefinitely. And then use this as a giant lake. <laughs> that would be a lot of water. The only thing I would need to learn about is if we could make a flooding system. So, like, lift up a dam. And then when the water level drops, the dam falls down to rise, uh, raise up the water level. Either that, or we have to make a mechanical pump setup that draws the mechanical pump water into like a thin pool so that we could have a reservoir and then it maintains itself. The only problem with that is I wouldn't have power. So that would mean I would have to probably utilize this as a uh, power source somehow. A lot of things we got to do though and set that up. That'd be a lot of levy, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind doing something like that though. Also, during the bad water season, these died. Feels bad, but the trees up top did it. Let's go. Mechanical pumps are a pain to use because of the amount of power they need. Yeah, man, 700 horsepower. Technically, for me, that's not that bad because uh, we could just do the large power wheel. Dude, this is 300. 
That's not bad, man. And then I got the engine. Oof. Let me just burn a piece of wood for free power. It's going to be great, man, because I'm going to be an iron teeth. <laughs> Dude, y'all see Mamba right now? You see how he's laying down in bed and stretching? That is a sign that the weather is getting warm. I am not even kidding. Mamba will always curl up if it's slightly cold. But once it starts warming up, he will stretch like he is. And then once it gets really warm, you'll see his feet in the air. He'll have his feet up like a good Mamba, man. That's how you know how hot it is in the weather. Let's run that. And then we gotta get these up top. I'm in for the long game here, like in the plan. Yeah, it's gonna be ice. So we're gonna have water here, right? And I would have to also blow up this. Because it's like, I would want to be on a completely flat ground. That way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, the range is 10 tiles, I think. There's something that reminded me something about that. Something said that. I forgot where. But yeah, 8 tiles is close. 8 tiles is close. Now I did have a beaver path from here to here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that's illegal i don't know how he did that but he walked from here and placed a bomb from the top side and i was like wow that's that's impressive <laughs> what the heck is that man instead of digging the channel it might have been easier to leave levy floodgate to keep the water source level Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, so you're saying to fill up the hole so that the water pushes up. Uh, that wouldn't have worked because this side is lower, which means the water would spill out this way before it spills in that way. This side, you could see, slightly lower. And I have to blow up this pass in order for the water to reroute. And then if it goes here, it just leaves. <laughs> I don't really get to hold water if it spills that way. I guess we could levy this up too. Oh, levying here. I see what you're saying. The reason why I thought that it made sense is because we had two sources. So this means that if I do levy this side, this would still contaminate me. So I thought that it made sense to allow the water to merge first in the central pool and then redirect the water the, when I need it. That's what I thought. That was the thought process, just because we have the two water sources. I see what you're saying now, though. Setting up a jam here so it could spill over. That could potentially work. Or setting up the levees here and rerouting early. Oh, is that what this is for? I would imagine that's what this is for. Levying this and then blowing up a small path so that the water spills out this way. And then the water would waterfall down that way. Now the funny thing is that I think that's a lot of, uh, a lot of power, right? That's a lot of speed. And then I'm worried because it spills into a red water pool. Which means... Once we add water here, the red water contaminates. Now, it shouldn't backflow, though. The backwash shouldn't happen. So it should be clean, nonetheless. I could see that. I could see that. Oh, we didn't plant the cassava here. All right. So is this ready? Oh, it is! No way. Oh, okay. This can't reach. We got to do that first. And then we have to do these. And then we do that. All right. So this is tough. Uh, we could only do one tile up. So we can't plant these. So we have to do this one at a time. The reason why I want to do these is because I went four wide. And if this goes in, 
technically, I guess that's safe. We don't need to do this one. And since I guess that's a half platform, I guess we don't need to do this. And then we would do that. And then that would be one, two, three, four, five. And it goes back down to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three. Should be all right. I might want to bop this tile. And then it should flow into here. This probably doesn't matter. If it does and the water starts uh, rising up and flooding because of that, we'll do something. All right. Is this ready? Ooh, it is. Oh, snap. Uh... I think this is, I think this is it. Nice. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Bop this. Uh, we're gonna be bopping this. All right, and guys, it's time. Triple dynamite. Mm -mm. Let's go. So it is here, here, here. Five, four, five, and then on the width because it's curving. It's four, four, four. And then I think we want to do these two, that one. I'll also do these two corners, and we'll do these two. Some of these are too far away. Okay. So that means then I need to do this. And we'll do that. And then can I reach? I can't. Nice. So they do give you that. Depth three. Yep. That's three deep, dude, that we have to demolish. <laughs> this is out of necessity. Not because, uh, you know, I like explosives. This is out of necessity. So we're going to be having to do this. We should be able to reach everything. They do give you that notification if you don't. All right. So the problem with that is we're going to need something known as extract. And we're not going to be able to actually make that. Unless we have more people. So I am going to close two of these. We're going to put a fourth guy on the wheel. And then we have to kick on the uh, centrifuge. So we make extract. So the extract is what we need for the uh, stuff. Still making explosives. Only way to do it. We got a free guy. You're going to haul them. Let's go. No. Uh, folk tales have that as well. It's the same recipe and everything. So dynamite, science cost, how much to make it, recipe, everything's the same. So science cost, extract plus dynamite, uh, level one dynamite is just dynamite. And then triple dynamite is two extract, still one dynamite. So that's going to be shared. That update was a savior. Nothing worse than needing a demo level by level. I remember that, man. That was horrible, man. The only saving grace about demolition in this game is that you have unlimited drop distance. That's the one thing that was still okay about that. You could have unlimited build height going down, right? You could build one level going up. So if I'm standing at the bottom, I could build something along the edge. But building downwards, I have unlimited sight. So if you're on top of the mountain already, you could actually like carve out a like, you know, a little path like this pretty easy. That was uh, the one thing that was kind of making, uh, okay, at least we could do that, you know. And that's still in the game. That's still in the game. So, not even too mad. Not even too mad. Food is stockpile. Yeah, they eat all the cassava, like, immediately. And there's even a double. Yeah, one, two, three. There's another thing in this game, too, that was very interesting. The Dirt Excavator. This digs out a 3x3 three three box of dirt that goes until you reach the bottom of the map. So you could actually start on the top of the mountain and then level the entire mountain until you reach the bottom. And you get a giant pit as a result. <laughs> Dude, we might do that. We might just dirt excavate at the top of the mountain and use that as a giant water well. <laughs> Dude, we could literally just put it right here behind the water. Put some gates. 
and then we have a deep water well that would be like a 20 tile deep water well dude not even kidding realistically be about around 12 but it's still really deep max depth in this game is what six is there a reason why you're pumping bad water that's actually the recipe cost for explosives so bad water is actually a resource and that's how you make explosives you get five bad water and then you get a bomb i don't know how that works <laughs> i don't know how that works yo geek coming in with a tier three with 39 months i see you over there welcome back to the city hope you enjoy your stay enjoy the emoji to us ad free viewing don't forget that legit sub badge we appreciate the support thank you so much how are you geek i see you over there man what is good coming in strong with the tier three shout outs to you man supporting us extra with the tier three support if you guys didn't know the tier three gives me some more sub points helping us out with the partner plus program so if you guys uh do you want to show some extra love that's a great way to do it of course shout out to you geek thank you for tuning in how's the mondays man yeah they changed it from paper i think i preferred it when it took paper yeah i remember the paper recipe as well i think it's because uh they took away paper from the uh iron teeth i don't know if that makes sense so iron teeth is a scientific uh beaver tribe i guess they have a lot more uh science stuff right they breed with the breeding pods and all that now the problem is is that yeah they took away the paper recipe from these guys so they don't have that anymore i don't think that's the reasoning why i just think they wanted people to interact with the bad water and this makes sense uh, another reasoning why is because i have the centrifuge the centrifuge converts bad water into something called extract that's actually how we're going to be doing the explosives Right, we need the extract in order to actually make the tier three dynamite. So we need the bad water for that as well. That's gonna be the reasoning why we uh need the bad water. Explosives and extract, both of which go into the dynamite. Good times. As long as nobody gets hurt. Our water is stockpiled. I'm gonna remove the second water pump. We're gonna have two just to maintain. I think we're fine with these guys. That way we could have more beavers doing the work. And then we have four builders because we still need to finish the uh, bomb job on the side. I guess we could start setting up the uh, sealant job on the side. Because we do need to do this, right? So realistically, I would go back up this way. Oh, but that's double level. That means I need to go here. Last time I played was the beaver bots. Seems like I missed a lot. Ooh, beaver bots. Yeah, we still have those. Where are my beaver bots? Bot assembler, bot factory, number cruncher, charging station, control tower, grease factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad water update, I think, was probably, in my opinion, I would say this, the best update uh, since the game dropped. The bad water update, I think, has been the most impactful. Like, I like the mechanics. I like the changes. It actually gives you something to do, and it's not fluff, so to speak. I would call fluff things that are decorations that have a very obscure impact to the game, really just average well-being, and doesn't do anything else, right? The gravity battery, dude, we got to do that as well. We're going to make a 50-foot drop ba uh, gravity battery. <laughs> We're going to go on the edge of the map. Just right here and just drop it off. Ooh. Two million watts of power. Let's go. All right, so we're all right. We want to try to work our way this way. And we need to get to here. Uh, realistically, I'm just trying to seal this up. So that's going to be the goal. We want to seal up how much water gets over here. So I think we want to go this way. And I want to be here. Here, here. 
sadly, we can't walk on top of that. And then... Nice. Uh, I would probably want to plank down. I think that helps us the most. And then we could do our levy strat here. <laughs> so we're just walling this off, man. Classic strats. So I think how I need to do this is we got to bop the top level. Now the reasoning why is because I want to be flat so we could walk. And then while we're standing on top, we could build the next tile over from top down. I would still need these though because we do want to wall that off. I guess we could also do this. The idea is I would walk across the top and build this and then work backwards. Maybe put a floodgate just in case. If anything, I could put that at the top layer. That might be what makes the most sense. Top layer floodgate. That way I do have a drain option. I'll do that last though. So this is just so that they have something to build. All right, that's going to be work for the beavers. Big projects. 46. I think we're going to start picking up the production of uh, the little babies. Uh, looks like we have open spots we have to fill. Oh, it's because of the extract. Yeah. We're running out of bad water as well. All right, looks like the extract's going pretty good because we actually do this pretty fast and we burn through it. We still need more. We still also need more. Uh... <laughs> we still need more explosives. All right, because we have extracts still, we're just going to pause this. It's two per one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 17. That's 24. 30. Wow, 30. All right, we still need a little bit more extract. 18 more. Eh. And it's a drought, yeah. So they're going to do bad water, bad water, drought. And I think after this drought, we get a long bad water season. And the bad water season ruined us last time. That was a bad time. We lost all the food because all the crops died. A couple of uh, bad water tides. Yeah, this merged with the bad water tide here. And then it flooded this side. And I had crops here last time. I think that was a mistake. So we're not doing it this time. Having crops down there. I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, I could do this. Nice. No one's nearby. Splash. All right. Nice. Settle clear. We could do that. Stop pumping. No, no, no. We got three days. We got three days. We got three days. We got three days. It's not here yet. The drought's happening in three days. Still getting water. Still getting water. I had three bad times in a row earlier. Five to seven days each. Keck. Dude, are you playing hard mode? <laughs> are you playing hard mode, man? Yo, man. I will eventually get to hard mode once we have the strats and once we have the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The warning is, uh, it's, uh, it's an actual warning. <laughs> it's not actually here. Like, hey, man, you got three days? Because something bad's about to, you know, roll by town. It's not going to be a good time. Bad water day one. Oof. See, that would be okay if you had, like, a natural dam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, that'd be tough. Day one bad water. Like, realistically, I don't know what you could do about that. All right, the beavers are working. Oh, we got three free beavers. Uh, let's put them here. And then, yep, yeah, let's go. So the berries are good. We don't need the berry gatherers to keep working yet. Farmers over here are chilling.
Oh my god. The farm's maxed out. The food storage is maxed out. And they're no longer harvesting because the farmhouses are maxed out. Wow. The farmhouses are basically filled with food. Do I want another kohlrabi storage? Ooh, 80 planks? Jesus Christ. The 1200. Bongiorno. What's going on, mine builder? I see you over there. Welcome in. Bongiorno. What's going on, mine builder? How you doing today? It is the Mondays. So I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. But what's good, my dude? How are you? And of course, thank you for tuning in. Um, well, dude, on a Monday too, you're doing well. Rather impressive, I would have to say. The, the difference is that I don't have enough planks, right? So I wouldn't be able to build the large warehouse for probably like, it wouldn't be finished until after the drought that's occurring right now. Realistically, I don't think it's going to finish until the drought finishes. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Now, the thing with this is it's going to use science. I'm going to hold on to it because I might want to save for the decamination pod. I do have the extract. So it's like, I don't know if I want to spend the science. Uh, I guess we'll turn this back on. We still need the extracts. The bad water is a little bit higher now, too. All right. 4, 9, 18. That is 36. This is 17. And then we're going to need more here. Oh, I forgot about that. We need more here. Food is good. Dude, they prefer the cassava. They really do. All that gets eaten first every time. Each and every time. All right, we're back up to about 49 pops, so we're having population, which is great. We have additional food as well. All right, so the drought's about to occur. We're going to raise our gates. Uh, this is at one. All right, we're going to push this to zero because this doesn't matter. We're just going to hold water here. This is at one. This is at half. We're going to push this up to four. The droughts are already active. Okay. All right. We got to stop pumping water. We're just going to drink what we have. Keep everything going. We're going to pump the bad water still. So with those free people. Oh, they all took other jobs. Where? Yo, man. What other jobs were there? Kitty bats time. Oh, mama's awake. He's, he's cleaning himself. Welcome in, Julie. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Do you, do your kitties like to sleep a certain way, Julie? Depending on the weather. Oh, it's fake story time. Oh shit. All right, guys. I need to think about which fake story we're going to go with. Ah. Uh... Guys, did I ever tell you guys a story of when Mambo went to college? So, if you guys don't know this, Mambo went to college, but he dropped out. So, what had happened was that <laughs> Mamba used to roam the campus. He would do outdoor studies, right? It's a kitty cat. That's what he had to do. Oh, off to work. Gotcha, gotcha, mind builder. Yo, man, have a good day. We'll see you next time. So, Mamba used to go to, go to school, right? He used to go to college. He dropped out, though. Now, the thing with Mamba was that he majored in outdoor study. He was actually undeclared. And the problem with it was, was that he couldn't really settle on something. But he did try to rush a fraternity. And one time, uh, he was rushing. That's what they call it when you're joining a fraternity. I'm not going to put the fraternity out there. Just because it's going to be, you know, not going to look good for them. Now, what had happened was that uh, Mamba is indeed not a cat, uh, not a morning person. He's a cat. But he does not like waking up early. So he he tries to avoid the early classes anytime he can. And not going to lie, 
he was forced into an early science class one day. This was his freshman year. And uh, yeah, he was not a fan of it. So what had happened was with that at class, he had to rush fraternity. You're there, right? Welcome week. It's before classes start. You get things settled in. You know, you get into your dorms, you know, the area, check out the cafeteria and all of that good stuff. So during that, you know, you find a fraternity, group of friends, you're going to say what's up. And what had happened was that he had what's called a big bro. Big bro, if you guys don't know what a big bro is, it's your fraternity brother who's already been there. Usually a year older, maybe a couple years older. They kind of, you know, show you the ropes, kind of do some team bonding. And one of the team bonding exercises that we had was, uh, I don't know if there's a word for this. It's effectively a minor version of the Ninja Warrior map. Dude, Mamba whooped the ass, dude. He flew through. And apparently that was what they did for the team bonding experiment. Now, you know, it's it's literally just a rope climb. You got to do a couple things. Uh, once you get over the wall, you got to help out your teammates, right? It's a lot of stuff that you probably see in the army for, uh, you know, some of the team building exercises, right? You, you've seen some of that before on TV. Now, right, you know, he flew through. So when he flew through, Big Bro got notice of him and he was like, God damn, this guy is a stud. So he, he decided to uh, show up with Mamba to go to one of his morning classes, right? He wanted to see what he's about. So Mamba, contrary to popular belief, he's very studious, right? Outdoor studies major, it seems legit. He had to take notes, so he sat at the front in class. Now, of course, this is 8 a.m. physics. Like, who the fuck is awake? You know, the science majors are and the engineers, but hey, it's, it's a lot of time they're just recording. I'm just going to re-listen to the recording later. Not really taking notes. Nonetheless, uh, he was there with the big bro. Sat in the front so he could hear everything. And big bro was not having him. Man. Big bro was kind of just nodding along. Starts yawning. And then next thing you know, he's like, yo, man, mom, but this shit is boring. What the fuck we doing here, man? Let's let's leave. We got we to, gotta, you know, like he had a lot of pent up energy, maybe some coffee. But he couldn't move, couldn't talk. So he got pissed. Now, he was talking a little bit loud. That's just how he is. But uh, the teacher didn't know that. So the teacher was like, hey, man, you're in front of the class yelling. What's going on here, man? What's the problem? And he's like, yo, man, this class is boring. Told that to the teacher's face. And the teacher was astonished, like, yo, man, you can't say that. I'm teaching kids. There's 500 people here. No, this is the auditorium, right? We got to roll that back. This is a 500 student class. Right, you could probably perform in this room for like a you know, a gig, and it's like pretty pretty sizable, 500 plus students. So you guys know the auditorium, big building, very vaulted ceilings. Everyone was watching, and this is one of those angled seats so that everyone could see the show. And man, goddamn, they 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 were like he wasn't backing down, and I was, I heard the story, and I was like, man, that's that's mad cringe. <laughs> Not gonna lie, man. I was like, I wouldn't want that to be my big bro. Now, nonetheless, big bro was not having it. He was asked to leave, so he, he left. So he made a scene. He stomped all the way up to the top of the auditorium, right? Because we were at the bottom. Made a scene. Everyone was watching him. And then at the top, he looks back and he calls the professor a B word and shuts off the lights. And he just leaves. Teacher looks at Mamba. He's like, you know that guy? He's like, nah, man. He just sat next to me. <laughs> the old man plead the fifth. Don't know, man. Don't know who that is. And that was the day Mamba dropped out. He was like, man, this this really ain't for me, man. Wasn't about that life. Of course, Mamba would never go to college. Y'all know that's a fake story. Timo, man. Hope you enjoyed, people of chat. Hope you guys enjoyed the fake story. I gotta write these down, man, so it's easier to recall. Capri wins, welcome in. Caught the beaver stream. Nice, nice. How are you? You played this map. Oh, were you having success? I wing them most of the time. They're usually half troops. So it's like part of the story happened, but I, I won't say what part. <laughs> and then it's like for entertainment value, you gotta add another part to it. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. I've never seen one of my cats sleep with the belly up. 
but my boys will sleep with their belly exposed. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I did well. I dammed up to the top. So I had the big uh, water stockpile. Oh, I did that too. That's what I did. You start right here, right? And then I went up this way. And that's where the water source comes from. And I did my triple dam setup right now. I built walls around it though. Oh, you made an elevated area to hold the water up top. I see. I'm doing a different strat. We're blowing up this hill right here. And we're going to reroute all the water down this way. And then we're going to set up a wall on this side. <laughs> big project. Big project. I've only played the demo. dude. It's a good time. It is a good time. Tarkov just drops. I'll be watching until sleep. Hey, gotcha, Alpha. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, on mine, that empty river is where the bad water goes. Oh, so you just route the bad water here. Oh, that's interesting. TNT ready? Uh, one more. Actually, you can build these two from the top. No, I'm going to do these as well. So, technically, I want to do this. And then we got to do these here. All right, these all are within reach. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Julie, the reason why I asked you that is is because Mamba, he, he has been the only cat that's ever done this. But depending on how hot or cold it is, he will sleep a certain way. If it's really cold, he will dive under the blankets. There has been an instance where I was streaming and Mamba behind me started going to my pillows and then digging with his face. And he got below the blankets and then he just was just sleeping under my blankets. When it's okay temps, he'll just curl up into a ball or a loaf. When it's hot, he will have his feet point up and expose his belly. And he's fully stretched out. And that's every summer. <laughs> every summer. So if it gets hot, Mamba is still tired. He'll just like try to cool down by sticking his hands in the air. Long stretch, but then he's still asleep. But yeah, love Mamba, man. He's a cute pie. Got the spawn to work. Thanks, man. Nice, nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good stuff. Good stuff. I also made another water out of the river behind your trees. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Good heat regulation. Yeah, man. Smart kitty cat. It's the only way to do it. My long hair cat would move from the sun to the shade to regulate temp or lay full out on the tile floor. Oh, that's smart. Mamba. Well, I don't really get sunlight in my room. Everything's really blocked off, but it does get hot in my room. I mean, it's summertime, right? So I guess Mamba... There is dark spots and low temperature shade in the other room behind me. But yeah, Mama likes to stay on the bed. I don't know why. Anytime I'm streaming, he likes to be behind me. Maybe he just wants to be nearby. I know the kitty cats like that. Sometimes just want to make sure they know what's going on. Alright, so are we actually done? Ooh, we're almost done couple more explosives making our ladders and it looks like everything's good the large water storage is getting low this one's out and then the water level here isn't too low yet I don't have to add water yet and we have 3.6 more days to survive to go through a bad moment of nearly all my beavers dying of dehydration I had to go from 10 beavers back up to 80 ah I see I see yeah, I, I had that kind of happen. No one died. We just couldn't. We were stagnated. We couldn't grow. And we had the negative well-being modifier. So we were in the perpetual hole where because the modifier effectively has negative 50% uh, working speed, you don't work fast enough to be able to provide everyone with water. So you need extra buildings. <laughs> And I, I ran into that until I built the extra building. And then once we rebounded, we turned off two of them and just maintained with two. 
but yeah, man. Dude, they have, they have, like, it feels like it's a trap, dude. It feels like it's a trap. Oh, I don't have that yet. Yeah, we didn't do any of the decorations. Dude, when you have no thirst provided, it's a minus 8. And then no hunger, minus 8. That's a minus 16. That's so tough. Not even kidding. That's so tough. That's a lot of negative, man. And then it's also a two-way swing. All right, these we could trim because these weren't connected. And then we're waiting for this. Oh, they're not going to... No, they're doing this. Because it's closer, I think. This is going to take forever. I'm trying to get out all the way to there. So this barricade's going to help block the water from spilling that way. And then the water is going to go out this way to here. It's going to go above this, so we don't need to do anything here. We could technically wall this off early and have that be how we survive. Oh, that is a problem. This is going to flood. Where is my bad water going? This way. So I close this off, I close that off, and then the bad water flows this way. It goes down this way into the stream. And then off the map. I technically need a wall here to make it a little bit better so it doesn't actually spill this way. The source one. Yeah, these are the water source ones. That's the water source one. That's how I'm doing it. The other bad water is right here. I'm just letting it flow down this way. So we're not rerouting any of the bad water. <laughs> just just the clean water. Just the clean water. We're moving instead. Because we're going to move my district from here to here. And then we're going to live here with a big pool of water. Oh, it's because you're in a drought. Yeah, I'm in a drought right now. Bad times. Oh, this is almost done. Okay. So, we need these three. Three more, boys. Three more. And then we'll work on this side. I am also thinking of adding dynamite here. So we get more land for growing on this side. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, man. I wouldn't know if anyone in chat knows, but I would have a question. So I know that the folktales, they have a house. That the entrance to the house is at the top layer, and it's a two-story house. Can you partially submerge that in water? Or is that not possible? Because that would be something I would want to do. That way you could use the bottom half of the house as a wall. That would only be for folktales. Entrance is on top, so probably. I don't have that, though. So I would test it out, but that's for the other class. Oh, oh I don't have water. No, no, this is bad. That means we have the modifier. <laughs> no, negative three. Guys, we need some help. Oh, dude, they're thirsty. No, it's I have water. <laughs> That's not a problem. I just need them. They're, they're just thirsty, man. They're going to be working so efficient, inefficiently. How bad is this? Did he just move slower? Okay. Yeah, we should open this. This is at one. This is at zero. We push this up to one. Surely those storages were empty then. Uh, yeah, they're empty. But it's like, because they're negative, they're not going to pump water as fast. Because if they were positive, they would be able to pump water faster. 
So that would mean I would need more people working here. It's kind of like the thing I'm worried about. I also need more haulers so that we could haul the water out, the storage a little bit better. I'm surprised you ran out with all the water tanks. Yeah. I think it's just, uh, does water evaporate if it's in water storage? No, it doesn't, right? <laughs> I'm gonna blame it that it was on the hot weather, man. The water started precipitation. You know what I'm saying? It never rains in this game. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't. It's one of those things, though. I feel like they should add that. They should add rain to this game. I wonder how that would be interesting. Someone was using it for baths. Oh, that's illegal, dude. Bath water. Alright, so far we are not having enough water so that the breeding pods can't breed. That's not good. This is still single digits, which is not good. But we're positive now. So we almost have everyone with water. Come on, let me get to two digits. Double digits. That's what we need. That way we know what's going up. Yo, we're doing it. New run, new run. I started over today. I started over today. So our new run is a lot better. A kill build, the daily small. Can we get some happy faces in chat? Can we get anything with a smile? Can we get some good vibes? People of chat, any of the happy emotes that you guys got? Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go. Hey, I see you, Kill Bill. Shout out to you. Cappy wins. Let's go. Appreciate y'all abductor. I see you over there as well. How are you? We doing all right? It's a little bit warm, but I think we're okay. Can we get a huge explosion? Did we get the last one built? Oh, it's done. Guys, 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 big chunk and splash. And look at the water flow. Let's go. All right. So we have water. I'm going to put this to half. This is at half. We need this at 1.5. I'm going to push a little bit of water out. I want to see how this flows. Yeah, not bad. This is very, very healthy. This is very healthy. We go with this. Why aren't you using that bit below your base? I did that the first time and it ended up not really helping us. And I also had this flood on me, and some of my beavers got sick. <laughs> so we had the bad water, plus the bad water here flood up to here. And then uh, we had like four beavers get contaminated. <laughs> so I'm just not going into the water anymore. You're talking about this area, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think that helped us. Instead, we're going to be going in places that will always have clean water. Because the, the reason why we lost last time was because we didn't... Uh, uh, what do you call that word? I, we didn't accommodate for the bad water. And as a result, we lost all the food that was growing. Because it was a long six-day bad water season. So because of that, we lost. And I was like, yeah, this is mainly bad water. <laughs> so it's like we're never gonna hold clean water here so we can't plant down there you could reroute the bad water south mm, we could yeah we could go down the sweat but that would be something we would do a lot later because we were more worried about rerouting the top this way first and then now I want to move to this side so that we could get the water out this way. But yeah, that could be something we do later. I don't think we'll do that. I think this is going to end up being a power source. And I think we end up doing a lot of like man-made rivers here to power a wheel. I'm thinking. 
Who knows, though? It's just that it's steep, right? So the water should be moving kind of fast. So we should get a lot of horsepower from that. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, that's going to be uh, something we're going to try to do. All right, we have a free beaver. The builders are fine. Let's get a new hauler. We're at 1k science. God damn, we're actually really good. Uh, I guess we could start doing the setup on the side. Just because... Yeah, that means this is clean. Right? We flowed out properly. That means this is clean. That means then... Extract. Alright, we're going to fill this up, and then we're going to turn this off. We still need the explosives, but we don't have enough bad water to keep this going. Alright, you know what? We'll pause this for now. We should be okay. Do you get the most power from waterfall wheels? Uh, it's the stage of the game. And it's also because it's the least resource costing. I guess you could say that it's the best source of power that doesn't require input. Because all you need is water, right? And the problem with that is, is that um, if you do anything else, if you do the beaver wheel, right, where you run on the wheel, if you do the iron teeth wheel, which is kind of like a merry-go-rounds, they're all fine. It's just that the water wheel gives you the most amount of power for nothing as long as you have water windmills are decent if i'm enough of them they're yeah they're they're weird i'm not a fan of windmills they're so inconsistent and they're so costly oh oh does the waterfall generate the most power it should there is something in this game called water speed and if you come down from a taller height to a waterfall you move faster and then if you move fast you generate more power so fast flowing movement and that means the positioning of your water wheel does matter you could see this more commonly if you just lay out wheels like that in a line and compare how much horsepower they are next to the ones next to them because you'll notice that if you have a water wheel here it might not even give you any power just because there is no space behind it right but this will give you power this gives you the most power this gives you a good amount and then this gives you a little bit lust right so that that would be how to kind of like for you to, to kind of play around with that we need more water yeah no i know we got it we got it man we got it we got it yeah all right so i don't think we have anyone negative anymore so we should be able to balance out soon we should be able to balance out soon you pick man don't want to be back seating please don't do it to me We know what we need to do. We know what we need to do. Yeah, it's going up. Uh, how much water do they eat per day? Because we have 50, right? Is it one water per day? We don't use water for anything else, I don't think. Do you get more power from bad water? Uh, bad water and regular water is... It's weird. If you have regular water and you have bad water flow mixed in with it, it moves faster. I think bad water is overall just faster than regular water in speed. But I'm not actually 100% sure. I just know that when it was mixed in our last playthrough, it gives us a little bit more power. But I'm not sure. You ran out of clean water at 1.2 days left at the last drought. Oh, it's because I didn't turn on the pumps. That was my bad. I ran out of water, but I had my pumps paused. I think if my pumps weren't paused, we would have been fine. Because I had water here and here that we could have just opened the gates. So I think we're okay. Yeah, it's going to be nighttime. We're going to head into the new day at 100. And then before, we were below 100. So we're positive. So we'll keep all four of these. And now that the modifier is positive here too, we should be having a bonus. So let's click on a beaver. 
Yeah, 10% work speed, 5% move speed. And then that's going to be how we get positive. Should be good, should be good. I think that's more to do with water sources will mean faster river than mixed water. Okay. That might be correct, Scappy Ruins. You might be right. I, I don't know, though, if the bad water is specifically faster. But yeah, that's a good point. More water sources should mean more water as well. Makes sense, makes sense. Open spot. Let's pause that. All right, and the centrifuge is paused. Okay, and we don't need the extracts anymore. No, we will. I just don't think we need it now. All right, so there is another thing we need to do with dynamites, and that's going to be on the side. So we need to do dynamite. Uh, it's these two. All right, we'll do that. And then we want to do these. This, that. Yeah. So the logic here is we're basically going to have the water drip down to the bottommost layer. So that when we get... That doesn't exist, you pick. That doesn't exist. <laughs> That's why I'm saying is like you, you don't want to be backseating like that. You don't even know what you're talking about. That doesn't exist. Water pump level two. We play a class that doesn't have that. That's not in the game for us. So we want the new water because it's going to go from clean to bad. There's going to be a period where they're going to transition. So if it flows directly to the bottom and the bottom leaks out to here. That means that we should be able to hold the water and drain it this way without any of the water reaching here, right? So bad water goes directly to the bottom, the bottom routes to here, and it drains out. So we would be able to hold clean water on the higher levels if we really wanted to. That would probably be a forced dam yeah, I could see that happening. I might want to put levees here then. Yeah, I could see that happening. Because we want to have a wall. I might do that. Yeah, we do a wall like this. I mean, I guess we don't need these here. Yo, man, yo, Zoo Hybrid, isn't that racist? I'm gonna be real, man. I'm gonna time that out. Dude. Yo, man, is that racist? I'm scared, so I'm just gonna bop that. All right. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just saying, man, we gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, let me get some more dynamite right here. So it should flow out this way. I guess we do want this as well. And then we want that. So we will probably want this. Yeah, that's probably fair. So it drains into the bottom. No, it, it is. But you can't say that without me getting in trouble. If that is considered it breaks the TOS. Does that make sense? Like, I don't care. I just can't have that happen. You can say it's a joke, it's a prank, whatever. But in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't really mean anything. I'm just saying I'm protecting myself. I, I see where you're coming from, but yeah, I got to protect myself. I can't allow that to happen in my chats. If you don't know why, um, me, the streamer, I'm responsible for what happened to my channel. So, yeah. That's just something I got to do.
What's the plan with blocking up the top a bit? Uh, because there is a lower level, we're going to change this floodgate. I guess we could do it here. And then we could open this up. No, that wouldn't change anything. Yeah, I guess we could do this. Uh, we would get the stair here. And then we would want to do a landscape like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to deepen this by one level, and then we're going to change the regular floodgate to a tall double floodgate so that it reaches the same height, but it's going to be in a deeper ground level. Then that's going to allow us to reroute the water a little bit better. I effectively want to grow crops here. So we're going to be putting levees here, and then we're going to have additional levee here going all the way across. That's going to be the plan. And then once we have that, the clean water will be here. So this is levee. We're going to have regular dams here. I could probably put floodgates. That probably makes more sense. But I might want a dam just because it's uh, easier to traverse. Probably floodgates though. So I'll probably put the floodgates here. And then as a result, this is probably going to be a levee. Right, guaranteed. And I'll probably actually platform this way to go across. Because we're going to remove the water route so that we don't chance going into uh, the bad water, even when it's running. So by having that, bad water spills down into the low level, directly out. Bad water spills down to the lower level, directly out. If it spills through, this is low, so it's just going to flow back in. So it should work that way. All right, so we have three beavers. Oh, nice. We're finally above 50 for the first time. Uh, bad water is being used. We're not making metal, but then we're not using metal. Extract. Guess that's not needed. No, I guess we could turn it on. And then we'll just have the science. Would be faster if you separate both water sources. If you have bad water, go out separate ways as well. Uh, it would be more building, right? Because you would have to double up the amount of space you would have to kind of uh, do this. Because if we were to reroute the bad water... No, I think rerouting them separately would be a lot more work. There's a lot of weird things. Because while you could push them off the map, you would have to do like a lot of like controlled spill levees to make sure it doesn't flood a certain way. Depending on which way you want to move it. And then you would have to do it one on one side, one on the other side. And of course, since if this is bad water, we would have to make sure it doesn't mix with anything. With... It, uh, wait, what? Uh, it would give you more water reservoir in the middle. I mean, if you were to have floodgate. Where you have the explosives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. It's, it's just that I would have to add the red, the bad water reroute to both of these. And that's a lot more work. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Then again, I don't know what I'm doing. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is. I just don't think it is. Because you would have to do this side, reroute that, and then you would have to do this side, reroute that. And while that would work, it doesn't change too much. Like, we wouldn't get additional farm space. We would just have a little bit more water. I see you over there, Bert. I see you over there. Yeah, no, I only did because uh, I did a big water tank, so I wanted to keep the pure. I see you, I see you. It did separate. Yeah, we'll separate this. I see you, Bert, and it'd be like that sometimes. That. 
that's uh, technically a YouTube feature. <laughs> technically, that's a YouTube feature. All right. Food is good. Everything is balanced. I do kind of need some berries. VOD viewers could do it. I know, right? So we technically don't need as much science anymore. We're going to be doing a reroute that we have planned. We have this on this side getting worked on. Ah, snap. I thought it'd be less building than the levy you're building now. No, it's going to be more. Imagine doubling this. One set of levies. So these levies here would be barely enough to push the water to the second level. I would then have to get another set of levies to redirect the water a certain way. And we would have to build that going downhill. That's what I mean. We would have to build that going downhill. So that would be the problem. Just routing everything as it spills. All right, we got the drought happening soon. Got a lot of things we got to build. And then after we do that, we have to build the one for this side. <laughs> oh, man. Another thing is as well is the water source spawns all around it. Maybe you could do a meme strat where you blow up the backside. And then seal the front side. Spill it out this way. And then floodgate this. <laughs> that can work, actually. And then you mix the bad water with the pure water here. Oh, man. That, that potentially has some uh, strats right there. Yeah, none of that's going to happen, though. We're not going to do that. I want to at least try my strat out first. You blew a hole open in the north side right here. Hey, man. That's a lot of bad water, though, on the other side. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. Maybe that's the play. You do this. Double floodgate here. Blow up the other side. Double floodgate the bottom side. So you have a double floodgate on the top and bottom of the water source. And then you levy up the sides. Right here. And then you open and close the floodgate depending on season. That would probably be the end game. If I really had time to do that, to reroute everything, that'd be something we'll do a lot later on. There's no way that we would do that now, though. Just because it's like... We relied on this to survive the first bad water season. Better strats that have a completely bypass. The water, so I don't know how this really works. Because if you have a pool of water coming in from a source that's like this, right? Because you could have a water source that's from the ground, right? Like that. You would have those rocks scattered here. Now, the thing is, is that if you have water coming in from the edge of the map, those rocks have an invisible wall. That's the thing with that. So that means you could push floodgates here and try to flood the building. The water just moves upwards until it's able to spill. But it can't move backwards because there's an invisible wall there. I don't know if that's how this operates. So that would mean that there would effectively be a wall on these two tiles that go to the top of the map. No, we're good. We're good on the pups. We're good on the pups. It's not a drought yet. We have half a day. Half a day, half a day. We're still getting water. We want to maximize that. You big man, you gotta you gotta calm down with the back seating. Yeah, let me play. 
You gotta let me play, man. You gotta let me play. Oh, we have an open spot. Alright, that's a drought. Uh, this is at one. This is at one. That's a dam, so we don't touch that. Yeah, there we go. So this goes up full. This goes up full. Then we turn this off. We'll turn that off. And we'll turn this off. Uh, we do need it on slightly. We'll keep one of them on. And then we're going to manually refill water as we need it. That should be how that works. Yeah, so we're gonna need water because I want to make sure we top off and we're a positive well-being. Otherwise, I get a negative modifier and that's bad. And we have free beavers. All right, they're gonna be inventors then. And we'll have another hauler. Berries are good. We're still breeding little babies. Haulers are handling it. This is trying to do its best. The water level, we're gonna wait until it goes down, down. Like we barely see it on top of the dirt. And we have a free guy. Not bad, not bad. All right, we have a lot of explosives that we have to make, though. And then we have a pool of bad water here that stands out as well. Do I have any showers? Not yet, man. I don't go for showers, actually. I go for the swimming pool. So the shower and the swimming pool is the same thing, except the swimming pool is eight people. <laughs> I never build showers. If you play folktales, you have a variation of that called the Lido. So we just build it kind of in the water and they kind of go in there. You don't need showers if you go inside, yo man. I see you over the zoo hybrid. I see you over there. Needs deep water though. For the Lido or for the swimming pool? The Lido for the folktales does not need deep water. I used it last time. It, no, it doesn't. It does not need deep water. You're showering after you get into the pool, Kappa. The Lido does? Because I built a fake pool for the Lido. I don't know if that makes sense. Because what I did was... I had water spilling in. Like that. And then I had a box. Like that. And then I have my Lido right here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I built it without having deep water. I'm not sure if, if it has the requirement, but I didn't have it. Because I built one of those man-made levee pools so that I could have a reservoir of water during the droughts. When I made minus it, water wasn't deep enough. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. So you put it on your big wall. Oh, I see. Maybe, maybe that was patched? I don't know. I know I built... I still have the save. I could show you. <laughs> I could still show you. I still have the save, actually. It'd be fun to see a uh, game put a gate controller mechanism in the building so you could actually program gates closed together like a macro. Honestly, that's kind of what I'm thinking they kind of want to go for in this game. I just don't think they will. The automation route and the logic gates. I don't think that's something the devs will actually go through. Logic gates, automation, making it so that your dam and all that does it automatically. Like, I could imagine you could do something where you maintain a water level in a pool line, and then this kind of adjusts 
accordingly so that you will always keep water there. It'd be like that sometimes. So you mean like a bad water detector that you could attach to floodgates? That could be it too. That's when I'll buy the game. <laughs> the automation update. All right, don't flow please. I don't want to add too much. All right, none of that flowed out nice. All right, we're holding 400, we have 2.6 days. Water is kind of low, but I think we're okay. That's the thing. Like, while the robots are in the game and it logically makes sense that they will be able to have automation, the problem with that is the fact that, realistically, you don't have a lot of things you could automate. What would you be able to automate in this game? That would be my question. It's, it's just the floodgates, realistically. There's a mod for that, bad water detector. Hey, I see you guys over there. Alright, we're gonna pause the blueberry man. He doesn't need to be here. Alright, how's the water? Still pretty good. I might want to add some more though. Oh, it's low enough. Okay, let me put this at half. Wow, and there's no water here. Our man zero. Get a little bit of water. Oh, we leaked out. Oh, too much. All right, we leaked out like a splash. Just a splash of water. We should be fine. Oh, we lost the water here, boys. All right, so this is 1.5. This is zero. I would rather hold water here than here, realistically. All right, 1.2 days, boys. We'll be fine. <gasps> no, they're leaking out. Don't leak out. Don't leak out. Hold it in. The toilet's right there. The dupes are peeing on the floor, boys. Alright, we are technically and definitely stable, though. I guess that's the problem with this game. You could technically stabilize if you're okay with certain tech levels and population. And you wouldn't really have to do anything. That might be one of the problems with this game. You could stabilize at any point. As long as you're not, like, overachieving. And that's kind of what the well-being is there for. To make you want to provide the well-being. And that means you have to grow your colony. Be able to have a well-functioned kind of uh, system in place, I would think. They do have the depth meter, true. Could be a feature to that. And then I guess... There's no wires in this game, though. That's the problem. There's no wires in this game. Power in this game is cranks, right? Cogwheel cranks. We, we technically don't have... Oh, they have the towers? The gravity, true. The gravity battery. They do have that. Do they have radio? That's not a thing, right? Oh, they have the control tower. Oh. Control tower boosts. That's only for bots, though. Yo, man. Do beavers understand logic? <laughs> Do beavers understand logic, guys? People of chat? Alright, we had water here still. We survived, boys. We survived. Drought ended. Nice. Cycle 9. And I think from here, we're only going to get bad water seasons. Alright, so well, this is 1.5. This is 0.5. This is at 1 and 1. Alright, boys. We're going to be good. Let's turn this on. Uh, we're positive. I'll put 3 on instead of 4. That way, we'll keep it going. All the inventors are on. Dude, everything's on right now. Extract is maxed out. Okay, we're pausing the centrifuge. Dude, this is great. We're doing awesome right now. Uh, does that mean bad water pump? He is actually working. Nice. 
it's valid within existing universe lore. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. If we have robots, you could do automation. Because you need logic gates to be able to do the AI, Kappa. Is that is that the reasoning? Alright, these are almost done. Uh, I wonder if they need a path. Oh yeah, they do. Okay. So that they could reach the uh, other things. No, I leave one pump off. The f extra pump is only when we're negative. I leave one off because if we have negative, we have a work yeah, speed penalty. So minus 10 instead of plus. That's when we need it. You pick, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop the back seat, please. Not something you want to do, man. Please. I need you to stop that if you can. Planks thirty-three. It's not bad. All right, but guys, I think this is gonna be a great spot for us to wrap things up for the night. So the beavers are balanced. We are going to be moving over to this side. We're going to be setting up a district and all that so that we can have a nice time over here. But we're doing pretty good. I think we're going to survive. There's nothing that's really going to stop us. We even have some additional floodgate to hold some additional water. That way we'll hold more of the clean water. And we could also try to do like some floodgates here so that we could control how much water we hold. <laughs> yeah, man, we didn't lose. All it takes is one L for us to learn from our mistakes. I guess it really do be like that sometimes. So let's get that saving.